Oh, geez, it's you guys again? Oh, Hi. my oh. goodness. Hi. Hi. Hey, I'm here, too. <laughs> Hi. Hi, friends. Hi, How friends. you doing? We got a couple people in here. We got Paint Licker, Big Bobzilla, Jade. Hello, Chuck. What's up? Look at all these nerds. There are many nerds in here. For I am one. I am one. And Jen is also a nerd. No. We are all nerds. <laughs> Hi, Jen. Ignores Jordan. <laughs> wow. Big Bobzilla. I get that kind of treatment from you. What the heck? Big the Bobzilla. other guy ain't even here. Big Bobzilla is a long time member of hashtag Team Jordan. <clears throat> True. Hi, Mo. Beginning. Mo's been around for a long time, too. Mo also. Mo is less Team Jen than, than Bob, though, I think. Yeah, I say nice things to Mo. <laughs> like complimenting his dope paint job on his terrain that he posted in Discord, which is sick. Oh, very nice. What's up, Panic Bomb? El Reno. Hello. Player Street. What up? Nice to <clears> Jen, <throat> mean to Jordan per Jason. <laughs> wow, Mo, I thought we had come a long way from our previous exchange of bus over... Mo's magic. <sighs> well, welcome everybody. We have a wonderful three hours of fantastic painting goodness for you today. Uh, where I continue to paint my doodads. This guy's done though. He's done? Yeah. Feel better about him? Oh, Looks yeah. great. I thought it looked great before. Yeah, I think the the actual like metallics. I mean, it, it it's crazy how much of a difference it. Is, yeah. But it's still. Yeah. It looked it looked great before, but yeah, this is awesome. What's the red thing on the front, like the freehand part? Yeah. What is that? It's like a tree or something. Oh, is it part of like? Is it? I would did just... you just make it up? Yep. Oh. Yeah. It does. Yep. <laughs> <sighs> it does look like Jordan. <clears throat> All right, so we got this guy, and we got this guy. And I got to paint over this non-metallic metal that I like. I'm gonna turn it into some some bronze. So I'm a little sad, but it's okay. You're painting. Why are you painting over it if you like it? Because if one it guy, match. Yeah, 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 it's gonna match. What's up, Kara? How's it going? Super bleeder, what's up? We got so many people in here. Tim, hello. Monday Strikes Back, uh-oh. Yeah, Bomb. he's a little green. That's awesome. Panic We're Bomb, fix uh, that green. has already made a purchase with his challenge prize. Oh, heck yeah. Primers, didn't didn't last long. Medium. That's the whole point, though. I think we got pretty much everybody taken care of, except for um, our friend from Australia, who are we, we are working on sorting that out for. Because, you know, shipping is kind of awful from, <laughs> from there to here. He would use here up all of his, his gift card, and then some, and, just and then on some, shipping. <laughs> just on shipping, yeah. Yeah, Tim, when you say Monday Strikes Back, that's not, it doesn't sound promising. Do they give you more unscheduled stuff? Laurel, did you each get one, Jade? That's amazing. Awesome. That's exciting. What'd they get? Go bags. Oh my goodness. She said our go bags. We'll be here tomorrow. That's fantastic. So fun. They put your load that was supposed to be on a 48 foot on a 53 foot. Wait. That, oh. I, don't, I don't exactly know what that means, but it sounds like Five they gave you something that was too big. Christmas gifts to each other. That's awesome. All right. I'm looking for... Those colors that are on my desk. Cool. There we go. That solved that problem. Oh, I see. So it's just, it's much more difficult because of all the <clears throat> congestion in those areas, maybe? Yeah. Oh, fun. Mm -hmm. 
Or they looked at you and like, you know what? If anyone can do it, you Tim can. can. Hit the tape, pay more in tolls. That's, that sounds awful. I always forget about tolls because we don't have them here. Really? Yeah. There's, oh, there's nice. no tolls in Arizona. And, uh, well, heck. I'll when, be darned. When Gabe and Philip were driving to wherever they, they were. They were like, what's Gen a Con? toll? They're like, uh, sent, he sent me receipts for tolls. I'm like, oh, wow, there's tolls that way. <laughs> I don't think about it. Oh my goodness gracious. What a day. What a day. Oh my goodness. Let's do a little bit of that. We're going to work on some of the shading in this. Um, why are my paints literally all over the place? This is driving me nuts. Hold on. Hold on, Chad. I got I to gotta spend a minute and fix this. I, I like you're the, on the only left one side. who's been in here today, I think. I know. <laughs> <clears throat> I my my desk looks like Jason's desk. Oh. <laughs> which means I can't find anything. So Yeah, you know. if, if that type of organizational system doesn't work for you, then <laughs> Well, it doesn't really work for him either, to be fair. <laughs> I mean, he knows where everything is. <laughs> until he doesn't. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he does. Until, until he doesn't. He doesn't. <laughs> And then he's like, where the heck is all my stuff? <laughs> <clears throat> so, a little bit of the dark silver. And a little bit of the, oh my gosh, I got a thing on my brush. A little bit of silver. And a little bit of dark yellow green. I think we might want to add a little bit of warm brown as well. Because I'm a nerd. I like that color a lot. Did I put it back there? No, I did not. Right there. Warm brown is like my favorite color these days. Is it? Yeah, I use it all over the place. Is that Ninjon? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Almost like we made some good colors or something. Yeah, right? So we're hitting the undersides of that. We're going to hit this upper corner here. Does this guy's head look too big for his body? Yes. Is it? I think so. Okay. <laughs> it's a little weird. I'm glad it's not just me. <laughs> it's definitely not just you. <laughs> Looks a little odd. <laughs> Looks very bulky for the size of person that he should be. <clears throat> He's very smart. He got he got, got big all the old brains head. in there. Tech Daddy said, I love decompressing and watching you guys paint. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. We like having you here. You don't have to listen to Jason today. Yeah. That guy. <laughs> the curmudgeon himself. side of this oh it's already dark okay is he wearing a hat nope he's got hair though okay he's got does big he have, hair does he have a man bun no he's got like big wavy hair oh okay is that maybe why his head looks so big yeah okay that's definitely why his hair looks so big or his head looks so big it'll look a little <coughs> <coughs> 
It'll it won't look quite as bad when uh once it's painted. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> Just distressing all this metal a little bit so it doesn't look quite as shiny and brand new. You guys saw me do this yesterday on the other model. <laughs> so Jen, have you guys decided on a on any um, restaurant week? We have not talked about it at all yet. Uh -oh. In fact, I should probably look into that. Yeah, I was about to say, we're running out of time. I know. All right, I probably won't do any of this this time around. Not even one? Maybe. I, like I said, I had a lot of stuff that I had to pay for for yeah. this, this time around. Um, plus all the, like, the Nova stuff kind of cut into that, too, mm -hmm. so... Jason is out of the office today at, um, we had an all day meeting for oh. this group that he's in. Fancy guy. Yeah. Had a meeting with fancy people for fancy things. Which is totally Jason, as you all he's know. He's super fancy. Yeah. Jason is the most fanciest person Very I know. Very highbrow. Yeah. Yeah. Bougie comes to mind. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. That's that's one hundred percent Jason. We will say hello. Hello. That means he's hung over again. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Don't tell him that. <laughs> Fancy things related to monument hobbies. Not not directly, no. Um, it's just a group of business owners. Yep. On Sunday, though, he did look at me and say, <clears throat> I don't think I'm going to go to work tomorrow. Not really? Yeah, and I was like, uh, excuse me? <laughs> uh, excuse like, me, I don't think that's how that like, works. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> I don't feel so good. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm like, no. Uh, no. You're not allowed. <laughs> You're not that thing that you want to do and nope. he's like like actually I think I might need to be out for the week I'm like Aww. no I don't approve that vacation <laughs> I don't approve that vacation you gotta get through Jen yeah I'm gonna make fun of him for that <laughs> Jen said you were trying to play hooky <laughs> he's a big talker yeah does a lot of talk about playing hooky taking naps doesn't ever do either of those things um, you're, oh, oh yeah. gosh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Needs more paint in his diet. Keeps the sick away. Oh my goodness! He's not sick. I need something to keep these dang allergies away, man. Holy cow! I feel like the minute that the humidity goes up here, I just like start dying. It's brutal. When it, it sucks when it's humid. Yeah. I feel like though we've got. I think it's gonna be under 100 today. It's always nice. It was 98 earlier. I think it was like low of 80 something. Yeah, it looks like today, tomorrow we might have rain. Oh, yay. Percent chance at 4 o'clock. Okay. I mean, that's, that's a decent percent chance of rain. Although, I mean, these are super unreliable. This weather app is super unreliable. <laughs> Because it, it'll say, uh, no rain for the next two hours, and outside it's raining. And outside it's raining. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> All right. For shading on this copper, we're mixing a little bit of dark yellow green, warm brown, and some black together. Oh, that was way too much water. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. Ooh, I'm looking like a wash. My weather app, Tim, it's uh, AccuWeather, I think is the one. Yeah. AccuWeather. Not so Accu. Maybe they're just talking about, you know, Acumen, like, like, not, it, not accuracy. Yeah. <laughs> Their weather acumen can be fine. What the forecast? 
What the forecast? I love that. That's great. Is that a real one? I'm looking right now. What the forecast? <laughs> and it, oh, there it is. And, it, and it's what the forecast with an ex, uh, question mark and two exclamation points. I'm getting that. <laughs> oh my goodness. You guys are so much fun. <laughs> is that the one that shows <clears throat> the... Yes. I've seen this one. It, it gives you little uh, snarky comments. Like it'll say, the sun is talking some serious trash about you behind your back. How dare the sun. And when, it, when there's a <coughs> forecast for a blizzard, hope you stocked up on toilet paper. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Did you guys hear about the the great toilet paper outage in seattle like four or five years ago well was it at the beginning of covid when nope. it was no oh. nope <laughs> it was before it that. was worse than covid actually <laughs> yeah so there was Did not make the local news there was a weekend where it was it was forecast to snow and i mean dump like absolutely just completely bury seattle under you know feet of snow and that doesn't happen often, right? No. Okay. No, not that much snow. It snows a little bit. Yeah. Every year. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. But not. The grocery type. stores yeah. were literally out of everything. And when I say everything, yeah. I mean the the actual grocery store shelves were empty. Yeah. So you you guys had a preview of of COVID. It, it was crazy. Yeah. yeah, it was absolutely insane. Everybody like toilet paper completely gone. Like it yeah, just that's... everybody was stocking up on food and everything because they were like we're gonna be it's stuck in our end house of for the world. two weeks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it it was the most end of the world thing I've ever seen happen in my life. Oh. It was weird. Um, and I mean I was we were stocked up enough already, so we didn't need to go. Um, <clears throat> it was crazy. Uh, la 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 la. Revi Kara, if you have time for a question at some point. Yes, I do. Yes. You watched the Flesh Wash 101 Jason made, but I was wondering if the dark purple and bright yellow green make a lively undertone for skin. Uh, what colors would be good to wash? Oh, so the, the example, I think, was dark purple and bright <clears throat> yellow green for, like, human skin. What colors would be good for vampire skin? Yeah, like purples. Yeah. Dark yellow green is, is also still really good. Um, but like purples and blues, kind of you kind of want that like bruised feel. <laughs> I know that's fun. Like well, like the zombie head up here is a good example of like I painted it green as as a starting point, and then I'm gonna highlight it up, highlight it up with like pale colors. Um, speaking of, I need to grab some bone. Question for the baby J, Avian. Hello, Avian, by the way. Tech Daddy, hello. Despawn, what's up? Uh, yeah, Despawn, I noticed that because I never got a, uh, a message. <laughs> so you should, like, do that if you want answers because I can't help you outside of that. Um, uh, but, 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 the question, what would make a striking Beastman color scheme for an army other than brown? Um, blue. <laughs> yeah, paint liquor, hot pink. Yeah, of course. <laughs> you guys are horrible. So this is like my new favorite app for sure. The 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 no, weather the, app. What the forecast? What the forecast? Uh, and oh I did gosh. turn off the uh, child, um, like the censoring. Oh thing. yeah, yeah. So it it really gives you the spicy. Yeah, yeah. It gives me the spicy language, and it gave me a haiku today. Oh my goodness! It's hot as f right now. Clouds hate you more than you know. Tell them to suck it. Tell them to suck it. <laughs> oh my gosh. <clears throat> That's so good. Okay. Uh, but there we go. <laughs> yes, this thank you. <laughs> is a bone. Hot AF equals hot as foretold. Yeah. 
<laughs> that's that's a green acronym. <laughs> that's not really my work here is done. Tech Daddy comes in, says, "Check out this app," and then he's out of here. I'm off to save another small village. <laughs> oh my gosh! Don't get any ideas while you're away. <laughs> Brown right. wash, here we go. Time to do your magic. So you guys, um, what day, was that just yesterday that we were talking about the hostess stuff or was it Friday? I, I think it was yesterday. I felt like it was yesterday too. Yeah, I think we it was We got yesterday. it already. You guys were here either yesterday or Friday when the Chronic Toast was asking about our hostess snacks and asking if we, we needed another, like, supply we got supply them today of, of we got a whole box treats. of hostess treats speaking of hostess treats i think I maybe two boxes actually it came in two boxes and it was filled with many boxes of hostess snacks it's like one of everything and then two of the big ones well yeah so like and there's so, and like there were three of the i think you maybe dogs. remembered that we talked about the ones that we really liked last time yeah because <laughs> like the little mini i know right mom was it yesterday the little uh, lemon blunt cakes, so good. And oh, the, are those good? Oh, really good. Okay. And the cinnamon, like, little coffee cakes. Well, uh, really don't... Oh! Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Maybe Baby J was a little bit prepared for this eventuality. <laughs> and has a Twinkie. Uh, yeah, I think it was yesterday. He must have, like, overnighted it. Or he already had it on the way. Or Amazon. No, he sends it. It's not from Amazon. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's wild. This is a Twinkie. Good. Hello. Zebra cakes. I think those are uh, Little Debbie, right? For our zebra cakes hostess. Zingers are the superior snack cake. The zingers with the frosting on the top. You know what the most superior snack is? What? Is it cake related? Strawberry. Strawberry shortcake. Yeah. I sort of had an, uh, something equivalent to that for breakfast this morning. Strawberry shortcake? Sort of. What? It was um, chopped up strawberries. Oh, that's and, right. You got your, your parfait thing, your yogurt. Yeah, with awesome. vanilla, uh, non-fat vanilla uh, Greek yogurt and some granola. And oh my goodness, is that delicious. So good. Yeah, it's really good. I definitely spent like half an hour chopping up strawberries, but yeah. sure. Yeah. I got to find a cheaper way to make that meal happen uh -huh. because it's really good. But man, fresh fruit is expensive. I'm telling you, frozen. I feel like it's not going to be the same. It is. <clears throat> better. Better? No, it's not better. Well, I mean, it depends. Way. I think it's, I think fre uh, frozen fruit is good. I do too. I like it. But I usually blend it into stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I use it with smoothie smoothies. I don't usually like Like, could you have ever made like overnight oats? Just throw back my legs no. and pollute my so, britches with um, delight. You, just, you get oatmeal mm -hmm. and put it in a, like a mason jar with... Um, some kind of liquid. Use like oat milk or regular milk or whatever. Milk or whatever, yeah. And um, whatever you want in it, and throw some frozen food and fruit in there, <clears throat> and then you put it in the fridge overnight. Mm -hmm. And by the morning, it's basically cooked. The oats they're not cooked; it's cold. Sure. Um, but it makes it so that they're okay. it tastes like oatmeal, but it's cold. You don't have to cook it. That sounds good. Yeah, you can put things like chia in it. Sounds like, like a much seeds. healthier version of what healthy. I'm doing. Well, no, yours is healthy too, because it's I mean, the yogurt. The protein is important. The granola's got sugar in it. Yeah. And the, the fruit obviously is sugary, yeah. but I mean, fruits in moderation is fine. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of positive things that you get by eating fruit. Yeah. So. For sure. <clears throat> and the vitamins. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, smoothies. That's what I normally do. A uh, follow-up question from Avian. Would oiling up the beast men using monument gloss varnish give me the side <clears throat> eye when playing 30k? Wait, what? Did you already answer that one? No. no. 
Um, no, I don't think so. It would be kind of odd. Kara, overnight oats are so good. So good. I think the funny thing is that I was watching a video and I think the person was making overnight oats, but I took the inspiration to make what I was yeah. eating instead. Yeah. <clears throat> I think I got the reaction I wanted. Thanks. <laughs> um, but yeah, man, it, uh, <laughs> that, that is a breakfast thing is like super good. I have to recommend it to anybody who wants. Game Delay said, come for the painting, stay for the vague sense of shame as I'm forced to consider my dietary choices. I yeah. mean, I mean, I we mean got, I'm, we I'm got a big two, dude. We so, got two giant um, boxes of Hostess snacks today, and yeah. we didn't hesitate to rip into all of it. So <laughs> we, yeah, well, I'm we not, did not yeah. make any kind of uh, judgments about what anyone eats. <laughs> no, no. I do like eating, like, relatively healthy-ish <laughs> things. Mountain Dew isn't going to drink itself. But it's just the cooking of it and preparation of it ahead of time is sometimes difficult. And I am supremely lazy as a human being. <laughs> so when it comes to, like, making food at the end of the day, I'm generally not as interested in doing yeah, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm in a rut right now with cooking. <clears throat> Like cooking's good. I love to cook. I we do have too. A nice kitchen, but I. Yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> seriously. I like. I get home. I'm like, I don't want to do this. <coughs> Dosu. And What's God forbid, up? I'm out doing stuff. Then it makes it like virtually impossible. Yeah. We're looking pretty good on this guy. Gotta get his face oh, done. His head just looks so funny, I can't. Okay, I'll paint his head so he stops looking funny. What color hair should this guy have? Hmm. Should he be a ginger? Should he be oh. blonde? Yeah, that could be good. Yeah, he's <laughs> just standing there with a head in his shrine staff, yep. showing it off, and it's reeking glory. It's definitely <laughs> a little odd. I thought these guys were supposed to be good guys. That definitely just has like a head stuffed in a well, box. Well, maybe maybe it's a bad guy's head, and it and he is a good guy because <clears throat> he's got it, proof that the bad guy's gone. Seems like a weird way to to show your your prowess. <laughs> Good guys. Uh, Super Bleeder said, isn't it supposed to be some sainted guy's head? You no idea. You don't know about the head. It's no idea. Saint Noggin. Saint Noggin. 
I have not done any lore research on these guys at all. I just thought they looked really cool and wanted to play and paint them. So we're going to do that. So I don't think I have watched Deadwood. There's, is that Al? It says Al and his head in a box. Have you ever watched Deadwood on HBO? I have not. I know that uh, one of my favorite actors is in it. Oh. Um, that. The, uh, I believe his name is Ian McShane. I think that's his name. Um, it's a guy who plays... Um, you haven't watched John Wick, have you? Mm. What else is he in? Ian McShane. Yeah. <clears throat> he is... If you Google them, you'd recognize him. Okay. He's, he's been around. His face is, is all over the place. He played uh, <clears throat> a character in... <clears throat> in um, what the heck was that other show? Um, it was an adaptation of a book series, or a book, rather. That was um, the Caribbean. American Gods. Yeah, American Gods. I've not seen any anything of these that movies. he's did, <laughs> yeah. Been in. <laughs> American Gods, yeah. Was he in Battle He wasn't in Battlestar Galactica. Interview all. That is wrong, Face Smasher. Kung Fu Panda. I know this because I am a avid Battlestar Galactica fan and if he's in there, I'd be wrong. Who was he in Game of Thrones? Oh, he uh he played Okay, do you remember... Have you watched it all? Yeah. Okay, so later on in the seasons when um, the Hound is, like recovers from being stabbed and thrown off the cliff, and he's with that like church that's being built. Yeah, 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 yeah. The old guy who he talks to, okay. that's Ian McShane. Okay. Yeah. He does kind of have a similar sort of um, presence, I would say. Edwards James almost, okay. who is another fantastic actor. Yeah. That is my favorite show of all time, by the way, is Battlestar Galactica. Oh, is Edward James almost in Battlestar Galactica? Yeah, he's like the one of the main characters. So he is the the captain of the Battlestar Galactica. <clears throat> and that's a newer version, right? Because the Battlestar Galactica was a show when I was a kid. Well, I mean that's. Kind of relative, because the this show came out in two thousand four, which is also like twenty years old. Well, okay, but, yeah, but, but yes, I mean, like, it is not the one you're thinking. Okay, of. yeah, <clears throat> yes, it is a very different show. Okay, for for reference. Yeah, I feel like it was kind of <clears throat> cheesy. Like the the, 70s the one, one you're talking about, yeah, yeah the for 70s sure. One. Yeah, um, this one is like dark, gritty, oh. sci-fi, like okay. political sci-fi sort of thing. Now I have to look up. Original Battlestar Galactica. Sure that it's... Yeah, they are they are unrelated as far as I'm aware. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Sometimes you gotta roll the hard six. Also, Battlestar Galactica, absolutely yeah. fantastic music. Music? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, from from the like intro song to like a lot of the like themes and stuff that they have in the show is just really, really, really good. Mo, I'm loving you more by the minute. Saying that BSG can do no wrong. <laughs> you are correct, sir. I will back you on this. Whoever comes after you saying that it's bad <laughs> is also wrong. And we can, we can take them out back and we can disappear them into the desert. Yeah, I love that show. The, every every single time I watch that show, it gets better and better and better. Everybody gets all like been out of shape about some of the parts in like season three that are not, like not very good, because uh, there was like a huge writer strike during that time, so they were not getting a lot of stuff moving on that show.
You watch Battlestar Galactica and shows a ship in the fleet, not an important one, and rooted for it to make it to the finale. That's funny. Fleet definitely goes through a rough time. But yeah, Jen, fantastic show. No idea if you would like it. Battlestar Galactica? Yeah. No, I can tell you I would not. Probably would not. <laughs> it's great, though. Do you know where it's streaming? Uh, you know, I don't know. It was on Peacock, but it was removed recently. And I don't I know do if that. anything has annoying. picked it up. iTunes, it sounds like you gotta pay for it. iTunes, Amazon, yep. Google Play, yep. and Voodoo. Maybe Hulu. Does it say Hulu? Maybe? Hmm. Oh yeah, no, it's on Amazon, but you have to, it's not Prime. Yep, you gotta pay for it. Yeah. Bummer. Oh, speaking of TV shows, did you guys ever finish um, uh, Ted, Lasso? Ted Lasso? We have two episodes left. Okay. <laughs> We're get you're getting there. Oh, it says it's on Peacock. Oh, I don't. didn't. Google didn't tell me that. It, I don't think it is on Peacock anymore. It used to be. <clears throat> Gen X nerds grew up on original Star Wars and the OG Battlestar Galactica. That is, that is true. I looked at the, when I googled Battlestar Galactica from the 70s, just a picture of it. Like, oh yeah, I remember the show. I don't That's remember cheesy. it, but I know I watched it. Yeah. I, I was like, okay, I have to at least check it out because, you know, I'm a big, you know, PSG nerd, and I like watched an episode and was like, "Okay, this is not for me. We can we can move along now." <laughs> Severance was good. Ooh, Severance is excellent. What's Severance? Oh gosh, uh, how do I is even explain movie? this show? Movie no, or a show? It's, it's a, a show? show on it's a show. Apple TV. Apple TV. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if you'd like it. Okay. It's incredibly weird. Incredibly weird. Yes. Okay. Um, the, the premise of the show, and I can't explain too much about it, but the, the premise of the show is basically that there is a company that exists that employs, uh, people on a floor of its, uh, building, okay. um, which people have to basically go through a medical procedure to make it so that when they go up the elevator to this floor, all of their experiences and their time and their knowledge of their life outside of work shuts off. <laughs> and their work personality turns on. So the concept is, you go into work, and you don't realize that you're at work. Because yeah. right when, that's when your brain shuts off. Yeah. And then it shuts back on when you leave. So imagine like walking in an, into an elevator to go to work and you, you go into the elevator, you go up and then all of a sudden you're coming down and leaving. Yeah. That's kind of the concept. Okay. And then there's another part of you that is experiencing your eight hour work day that is disconnected from your personal life completely. Yeah. They're that they all, the only part of your psyche that exists in this 
work environment is just work. It's work. So do they and have like personal interactions? Yeah. At work. Yeah, with their coworkers. Okay. Um, but it's like. But then very they have no recollection weird. of that when they leave. Correct. Interesting. Yeah, they don't know who they work with. Interesting. They don't know anything. Like. It, yeah, shows. Okay. Very bizarre. It's a fantastic show. <clears throat> but it is maybe bizarre. Maybe I could maybe re watch that. Maybe. <clears throat> Morning tide. Hello. Oh my gosh, yes, I know this game delay. I remember this. I remember hearing that much later, like not when I was a kid and watching it, but I remember hearing that later on. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not super familiar with the teachings of the Mormon church, so I wouldn't be able to pick it out. Although I will say, in um, The Expanse, there is literally like a Mormon church that exists that's like building a, a ship to like fly off into the... Unknown parts of the galaxy. Interesting. Yeah. Huh. I feel like Jason has watched that show. Oh, yeah. He loves that show. Okay. Yeah, it's really good. The Nauvoo. <clears throat> You're correct, Paint Liquor. Oh, yeah. That's from uh, Mormon history, I believe. Is it? I feel like that was like the name of a community, maybe? Potentially. That's the name of the ship. They right, but I think that in, in yeah. Mormon history, I think Nauvoo is <clears throat> the name of a community. Oh, yeah, yeah. Named after a Mormon city in Illinois. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's totally something Mormons would do, building a ship like that. Yeah, the whole premise of the ship is, like, they were building this huge, self-sustaining, like, generation ship that would, like, leave their galaxy for another one mm -hmm. to, like, explore and have, you know... A new, you know, experience with mm -hmm. their flock or what have you. Sounds yeah. And and um, they don't know what's out there. Yeah. They're just going. Yeah. And it's like okay. Um. So it's like a talking point in in the show. Yeah. Yeah. It's very it's, interesting. Yeah. It's I'm like an interesting background a, thing. By no means am I an expert, but I'm very interested in um. Not all religions, but there's certain religions that I find very interesting. And oh, I mean, Mormonism I, is one of them. Yeah, I find theology incredibly yeah. interesting. And yeah. um, I think maybe because, just because of proximity, because where we live, that it's very prevalent in Arizona. There's, oh, is it? Oh, yeah. Maybe not, maybe not so much right here. Here? Yeah. But where I grew up <clears throat> and like in the outer, like in the suburbs. Very Mormon. Very, very much so. Yeah. Interesting. In fact, um, my, my old neighborhood, so I worked about two and a half miles from my house. Okay. So I had my house. Yeah. School was about two and a half miles away. On my drive there, there were, depending on which way I went, one dire on one street, if I took that street, I would pass three Mormon churches. Oh, wow. In that short distance and the other way would too because they build them for the community you know yeah. so like the people who live in the neighborhoods surrounding that church that's where they go to church so they won't go to you know if they live in gilbert they're not going to go to church in tempe for example right it's right. going to be the church that's in their neighborhood or the ward or stake or whatever they, they whatever they call it but just very very interesting and um where I lived before I moved out here to the Central Phoenix, um, the school where I taught, probably 70% of the students were Mormon. Were Mormon. Yeah. Oh, wow. yeah. Very, very, very prevalent. In that that's, area. that's a very large population. Huge population. Yeah. Doing some dark warm flesh. Or the highlights. <laughs> Yeah, we're in Arizona, so, <clears throat> yep. Oh, interesting. Arizona, Utah, and Idaho are mm -hmm. referred to as the Mormon Corridor. Or the Mordor. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> now that I'm not a believer, I find that funny. You probably would have found it relatively insulting. <laughs> I imagine. In Pennsylvania, really, I would have thought more of Amish. 
yes oh my gosh the my students were by far some of the most polite well-mannered um just students uh, so many good things to say about them such a family-oriented community um yeah But the uh, there's some, as with every religion, I don't know what else you would call it. Religious culture, organizations, you know, churches. There's uh, there's some darkness. There's some things that are not so up and up and yeah. nice and friendly. <laughs> I think that's very true of many things in mm -hmm. this world, unfortunately. There's a book called Under the Banner of Heaven that is a mix of Mormon history and then a current crime, I guess you would call it, in the Mormon community. Very interesting. Huh. Okay. They made a TV show about it, but it wasn't as good. It was more of like a fictionalized version of it. Where the book is, book is based on fact. Yeah, yeah. it's a. Um, it was written by uh, John Krakauer, who wrote. Um, oh my gosh, he wrote. He wrote a book about Pat Tillman. He wrote a book about. I want to say he wrote a book about uh, like one of the plane crashes where people had to resort to cannibalism to survive. Oh, what the heck? Yeah. Alright. Time to get me up some eyeballs. Oh, Into the Wild, okay. I don't know if that one. I wanted to say, yes, it was the South American soccer team, but maybe I'm thinking of Into the Wild. I don't know. All right. Got his hair sort of blocked in, got his eye sockets blocked in. We're gonna throw some light color in there. Maybe some colored flesh looks nice. Nice kind of pale color. Mesa is where you learn that lemon trees want to hurt you. <laughs> lemon trees? What did a lemon tree ever do to you? Are these things dangerous? Sometimes they produce so many lemons that... They start to fall off the trees. Oh, and hit people in the head? Maybe hit them in the head. <laughs> They're thorny, okay? Large spikes. Bear with me here, chat. Spinning eyeballs is not conducive for doing on stream. <laughs> well, I can show my uh, whole gifty while you're... All right, I got something. Uh, I have something to show you guys. Oh yeah, show and tell, Jen. Hi, 
I'm over here. What you got, Jen? So I got... Well, it came to me and Jason. Oh. The rest of both of us. But Very we got nice. these ink paper. Okay. Um, Shoshi from Shoshi's Magnificent oh, Adventures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoshi's Magnificent Minis. She sent us the. She's um, made her own line of miniatures, um, and she sent this one. She sent Jason and I each a copy of this, and he's called Cat Daddy. And so she has all of her miniatures Cat Daddy. are like awesome. beefy dudes. What? Uh, <laughs> so it's this big. Bulky guy, little cat on his shoulder. <laughs> but he's like, you know, he's unclothed. He's well, he's got shorts on, but he's uh, got a bare chest and like crouched down here. Now with his cat. But yeah, so at some point I will put this together and paint it. <laughs> That's awesome. But I love it, and it's an exclusive. Um, so this one is a limited edition resin print. Um, is it print or is it cast? This one is print. Okay. But this is the promo of it. I think that um, uh, they are going to be for sale on her website. Mm -hmm. Doing a pre a pre order from September eighth. Uh, starting September 28th, I think maybe just through the 1st of October, at showshesminis.com. And, uh... So she is one of our monumentals. Yeah, she sure is. Is this maybe another cat? So he has a cat on his shoulder. Oh. She's been around for, for a hot minute in the... In the space. Shoshi? She's been, yeah, she's been yeah. streaming for a long time. She's been streaming on a really long time, and I think that um, her miniature line, I think, is something new that she's venturing into. Yeah, that's not um, good. Yeah. Which is awesome. She used to do a lot of uh, Kingdom Death painting. Yeah. She still probably does, to be honest. But very cool that a creator is... Oh, that's you got to probably pull it closer to you a little bit. Like, pull it up off of the... Yeah. 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 I have to hold this, like, six inches off the table to get it to be focused. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. So. Something exciting. Anyway, and she I know she has other um, characters and poses and things like that. I feel like she's got a merman. Then. Cool. So, check it out. Shoshisminis.com. Cool little heels. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> that's cool. You know who this guy reminds me of? What his like his face reminds me of? Who? Uh, I don't remember the name of the actor, but it's the guy who plays Agent Smith in The Matrix. I haven't seen that. Oh, you haven't seen it? <laughs> uh, he plays Elrond in The Lord of the Rings? No, definitely have not seen that. Uh, I tried watching Lord Hugo of the Rings. Hugo Weaving, thank it. you. He's been in a lot of stuff. <laughs> Mr. Anderson. <sighs> And you haven't seen The Matrix? No. Oh, I'm so disappointed, I Jen. know. For somebody you who... You haven't seen Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Hey, so. I know. I'm saying, but, <laughs> but for somebody who casts a lot of shade in my direction for not having seen stuff, The Matrix? I know. Come on. 
Come on. I will tell you this. Most movies I have not seen. <laughs> Just in general, most movies. I haven't seen them. <laughs> I'm disappointed, Jen. I know. Is it because you just don't didn't want to see it, or Jason hasn't made you see it? Well, Jason hasn't made me see it, but it's okay. definitely from well before I even knew Jason. R right, right, right. Um, right. Yeah, that movie's been around for. A but yeah, no, I just am not. I don't know. I'm not like. I think I went through this whole long period of time where the idea of going and like sitting somewhere for two hours to watch a movie, I I just couldn't. I don't blame you. Do it. I haven't gone to see Op to see Oppenheimer because yeah. I don't want to sit in a movie theater yeah. for three hours. See, and th there are certain movies though that I'd be like, I would see that. I would go see Oppenheimer. Yeah, I want to go Even see Oppenheimer. Long, you know, but I it's certain just, movies it's hard. definitely appeal to me, and then others definitely do not. Yes, Abe Froman, the Sausage King of Chicago. Paint Licker has obviously seen this movie one or tw once or twice before. I've seen that movie enough times that I can literally like envision the exact scene that that's from. It's oh, really? Cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there was that too, maybe, the going to the movie theaters. I don't know. I mean, I, I'm trying to think of why I haven't seen so many movies that I probably should have seen. I know why. Why? Because my parents were not movie watchers. They were like mm -hmm. worker people and mm -hmm. didn't really like... My mom's great. She's kind of boring. Yeah. <laughs> my mom loved um, movies. Yeah, my mom, not loved interested movies. at all. Not yeah. really. Um, she's interested in a whole lot of not that. Yeah. Um, and my dad, sort of, but like prioritizes it, like so much more over yeah. that that it just like, he never watches stuff. Yeah. I think Especially maybe nowadays. that was me. You know? But, like, my dad introduced me to Star Trek. Yeah. Which is cool. So, like, I grew up watching the Star Trek movies. Mm -hmm. um, did you watch the TV show, too? Like, the original Star Trek TV show from the 60s? I did not. Okay. Which is interesting that he showed me the movies, but not the TV show. Yeah. Um, I didn't learn about the TV show until later. Huh. Which was interesting. My mom, <clears throat> my mom liked Star Trek, and she would watch it, and I did not like it. But she, I remember as a kid, she would watch it. When yeah. It was on TV. Yeah. And she would watch it, and I'd be like, uh, throw fit. Didn't want to watch TNG it. is very good. But yeah, my mom <clears throat> loved movies, but romantic comedies. <laughs> so. What's wrong with rom coms? I do not like a rom com. You don't like rom coms? No, mm. not at all. I, I, I think I mean, my problem with with so much of 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 that of like movies, TV shows, stuff like that, is mm -hmm. that I. And it's not that I don't have an imagination, because I think I have a very good imagination, but I prefer reality. You okay. Know? And, like, I'm, I'm fascinated by real things that I won't experience. So, like, that's why I like to watch live PD, because I watch it. I'm fascinated by these people who would ever think that they could get away with, <laughs> with doing that from kind the of police. stuff. Yeah. And you know, I'm like, what is going through that person's head right now? And I wish I could talk to all of them, yeah. you know? And so, you know, I, I like documentaries and I like things that are based on fact, like, you know, like historic fiction, things like that more so than, than, um, sci-fi to me is just so, uh, just, it's because it's so unreal. Did you did you ever watch the uh, the Nike movie that came out? Yes, the Nike. Uh, it was called like Air or something. The one with Ben Affleck. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Matt Damon and fantastic ben Affleck. movie. Yeah, it was really good. So good. Yeah, I loved that. So you like those kinds of movies? Yes. Okay. Yes, that movie was really really good. Then you and I can can talk about those kinds of movies because I also like those. Okay. Kinds of movies. <laughs> Uh, how about history? Yeah, I mean, I was a history major in college. Okay, okay. So. Have you watched, um, gosh, what is the name of this movie? Um, oh, shoot. It's the one, um, Dunkirk. 
No, I haven't seen Dunkirk. <laughs> I haven't seen Dunkirk. Yeah, either, that's what seen... Avian's supposed it's, to it's, ask it's, it's not a movie that you would you would think. Uh, Darkest Hour. I don't know that one. It's um, it's about Churchill during oh, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the talks where Britain was talking to the Nazis. Okay. Um, and it's from Churchill's perspective in that. Uh, and it's and he's played by, oh God, what's his name? Um, is that is that the one where John Lithgow plays Churchill? No, no, okay. no, 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 no. It's he's played by Gary Oldman. Oh, okay. Where John Lithgow played? Winston there's, Churchill I think there's someday. another, another one. But Gary Oldman in in that movie, Darkest Hour, is spectacular. Okay. Yeah, it's so good. It's like you, you know those movies where. The makeup is so good and the performance is so good that you don't recognize the actor in playing it. Yeah. It's one of those. Okay. Um, like, you look at him, and if you really look, you can tell that it's Gary Oldman. Mm-hmm. But if you are just, like, absorbed in the movie and the yeah. performances, like, you, you cannot can't. tell yeah, that yeah, it's yeah. Gary Oldman. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Which is great. Mm. Make a list of these on Discord. <clears throat> Oh, Churchill and the, the crown. crown. It was in the oh, crown. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which is also good. The crown was great. Yes. I need to actually I go through and I've, watch that. Yeah, I still have... I stopped right before <clears throat> Princess Diana. Yeah, when... Before first, she started appearing? Yes, or okay. like when she just was first being introduced onto the yeah. show. So whatever season that was is the last... You stopped season. watching it when I started watching it. Oh. Yeah, I was uh, visiting with my family in Indianapolis... And they were going through a stint of watching it. So you just watched it at that point and you didn't see it from the beginning? Correct. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. The beginning was fantastic. I, um, the first season, maybe, I was, like, obsessed with that show. Like, I'd be at really? work thinking about, I can't wait to get home and watch an episode of The Crown. Really? Yes, it was wow. so good. I don't know why. I just Okay. It. Yeah, you definitely need to see Darkest Hour. I think you'd yeah. really appreciate it. I would watch that. Um... Yeah, it gets like it. It is like I said. It's from Churchill's perspective, so mm-hmm. it, it's like him having like conversations with the king and like him at home with his wife, that yeah. sort of stuff. It's it's when he becomes prime minister, mm-hmm. um, and from that point onward. Okay. Um, it's yeah, it's super yeah, good. that sounds good. I it's would, super I would good. Watch that. It's probably one of the best World War Two related films that I've watched. Okay. Um. So yeah, I like, I like that, and then I like comedy. That's such a yeah. I mean, it's, it's, <laughs> it's there's nothing wrong with it. It's just it's very like a very specific set of niches, yes. right? Yeah. Um, and and comedy, like I'm not super picky about comedy. I like the cheesy dumb oh, stuff. I can't. And I, can't I like do the it. really high like high comedy like. Um, satirical type stuff i love um best in show have you seen best in show no that is one of my all-time favorite movies <clears throat> so funny i it's generally it's like a fake documentary <laughs> I, so i generally like okay how do i how do i say this without sounding like a crazy person i don't like comedy okay however you don't like fun you don't like to laugh but however <laughs> I really enjoy parts of movies that are funny when they come up organically or are not necessarily the intention of the media that I'm trying to watch. Mm -hmm. So, like, I don't want to watch a comedy movie, but I enjoy watching movies that are funny. Okay. Um, And I think because it has a narrative that's not based around the comedy, that it is more enjoyable to Can you think of an example? Oh... Um, I mean, I think like a good example would be the the comedic elements in like uh, the Marvel movies is a good example. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I yes. think those things are hilarious. I love the Marvel movies, and I, I enjoy like them, but I don't enjoy them because they're a comedy film. Gotcha. Right. Okay. But for for example, I think the more recent Thor movies push a little bit too much into the comedy yeah. error. Yeah. And I stopped enjoying them yeah. as much. I, I yeah, I can see that. Um. What we do in the shadows is great, though. So there are good. some examples of situations where I think it's just so it's, good. I love yeah. what we do in the shadows. But I don't go out of my way to watch shows like that. Okay. Like I've never seen Parks and Rec. I've <gasps> never seen 
Uh, okay. The other one that's kind of like Parks and Rec. Yeah. I've never seen The Office. Yeah. I, it's just, that's not my kind yeah, of show. All right. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. It's, it's one of those things like, I can watch a, a clip from, from it yeah. and laugh because yeah. it's funny. Right. But I would never that's sit like down Jason, and watch it. Jason is not a fan of like a 30 minute sitcom. He doesn't like them. Yeah. But I will never choose to watch it. But yeah, he'll, if he happens to come in and I'm watching something and he sits down for 10 minutes, he'll laugh when he watches it. Yeah. He, he knows the characters. He, you know, he, he, he will watch Ron Swanson clips on YouTube. Yeah. You know, like mm-hmm. that's just because the character is so good. But yeah. Oh, an, another great example of a show that I enjoy, that's worse but not than because not it's seeing a the comedy. Matrix. <laughs> that's worse than not seeing the Matrix. You shut up, hipster Gumby. <laughs> <laughs> um, Supernatural is another great example of that. Never seen it. That's okay. Yeah, you, you probably. Jason don't need always to. asks me though when we're trying to find something. He's like, "Do you want to watch 15 seasons of Supernatural?" It's uh, I'm okay. Like, no. <laughs> it it is hilarious. It is cringy, hilarious nonsense. Yeah. And also good. Okay. In a lot of moments. <laughs> um. But it is like, it's some like bromance drama BS a lot of the time. <laughs> but it, it like, Strange. I think I think the other thing too is if you haven't seen a lot of movies, I think a lot of the comedy in that show would be lost. Because when I first started watching it, I hadn't seen hardly anything. Mm-hmm. And one of the characters is like, loves to make movie reference jokes. Okay. And a lot of them are just funny because they're funny. Mm-hmm. Um, but a lot of them are like, if you understand the reference that he's making, it's way more funny. Yeah. Or uh, so they're yeah. Like I, I watched a lot of like older movies and and I was just like, Oh, I get these jokes now. This is great. Um But it is funny. It also has one of my favorite characters in all of television. One of them. Which is the like main bad guy for a bunch of seasons he's like this uh scottish irish guy um who's like the lord of hell he's just like a high-ranking demon Uh who's just a jackass yeah it's great it's awesome um also an actor that shows up in battlestar galactica so then how did you end up if you're not into i mean do you not consider ted lasso like a comedy or no you don't consider it. It's one of those no. that happens to have some funny moments. Well, yeah, because it's yeah. drama, but it's Maybe. also funny. Yeah. It's both. Yeah. Oh, I don't know that I would consider drama. Oh, Tad- yeah, you know, 100% that's, that's drama. It's not a yeah. drama. It's a dramedy. It's a dramedy. Yeah. Uh, I can, yeah, I, I, can, I can. Oh, paint liquor. <laughs> I, I know, yeah. It sounds like you and I have very similar tastes when it comes to this sort of stuff. So believe you me, we're thinking about the same thing. Um, well, yeah. Gabe's ready to put you in jail for not watching Parks and Rec or, ah, or The Office. That's fine. <laughs> you know what's going to happen is he's going to subliminally deliver Parks and Rec to me by having it running 24-7 yeah. on his big monitor on top of his desk. I had my desk. shirt on yesterday. You probably didn't even understand it. No. No. Nope. <laughs> It is not fine. It is fine. not fine. <laughs> my name is Earl. Oh my gosh. Chuck the Mead Man, totally worth it. Most of the time. <laughs> They're like, the first four seasons of the show are great. And then it's kind of hit or miss. And then it goes on too long. Yeah. So. Kind of like Grey's Anatomy. Yeah. 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 It was too much. I stopped watching it around season nine or ten or something. Supernatural. No, 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 no. Grey's Anatomy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've watched I don't it. Remember I remember when I watched it. <coughs> I stopped watching that one. So I'm not a movie person usually. Uh. I tend to watch TV shows yeah. a lot of the time. Yeah. That's why I haven't watched a ton of movies. Um, because I think a lot of it had to do with the fact that I was, um, painting a lot. Mm-hmm. So I had a lot of time to watch. Yeah. TV shows, and I like anime, but it's hard to watch anime when you have to watch it all the time. It's a very visual thing. Yeah, 
Um, that's fun. I watch plenty of good things. <laughs> they may not be the things that you think are good. Yeah. <laughs> but your opinion doesn't really matter too much when I'm looking to find something that I enjoy. Did you watch Game of Thrones? Yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe we've talked about it. I have strong I liked, feelings about so the last season. I liked season. Game of Thrones. Yeah, I did too. Which is, well, most but of I it. mean, that's probably surprising for me because, <clears throat> like, Jason had to convince me to watch it. Because oh, really? I, it was, like, not really anything that I like I didn't watch it until I met him mm -hmm. so there were had already been three or four seasons maybe that I had to okay. catch up on yeah um but yeah like dragons and stuff like that not my jam yeah fantasy I mean it's not it's my jam. it the first half of that show is much less about the dragons oh yeah, yeah it's for sure. way more about yeah. the political stuff yes yes but, like, another great example of, like, me enjoying funny things and serious stuff, like, I thought that the portrayal of, um, oh, God, what's his name? Tyrion mm -hmm. was spectacular. Yeah. And everything that came out of his mouth was hilarious. Yeah. He was a great character. So, like, that kind of stuff, I love it. Yeah. They eat that stuff up. Yeah. But I don't want to watch a, a movie that is all that. Okay. Yeah. Because it makes it less funny. Yeah. For me, at least. We should force... We should kidnap Baby J and force him to watch our great movies. Well, but... Yeah, he might think that... I, I know that for sure that he thinks that there's movies that I need to watch. Like, I haven't seen The Matrix, which is kind of what started this. Good Omens, we watched that. Um, but not the whole season. I kind of got bored with it. You know, Frozen I had is the, the best same movie. Thing. haven't seen it. You I... what? Yes. I watched the first half of Good Omens and then stopped like yeah. you did. And then I went back and I watched all of it again and it was actually good. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's just not there's a second season now back. too. Okay. Which is interesting. So it was, yeah, it was, it was good. And then I think we just both were kind of like, eh, whatever. We, we get a, into this thing where we sit down and like, we have a show. We want to watch anything. And we tend to watch them and then stop watching as it gets closer to the end of it. Yeah. So, because we didn't finish that season. And then we watched, um, there's a, been a couple on Amazon where we've watched a few episodes of it and then we just lose interest. Yeah. That, I mean, I feel like that's pretty natural. Um, and for me, it's the sign of a movie that's, or a TV show that's good. Is if it makes me just watch the whole thing start to finish, yeah. then that's a good show. Yeah. And I should keep watching it. I won't tell him, Gabe. <laughs> oh, I saw it, Gabe. <laughs> we'll just start playing the theme song to The Office. I'm going to be like, what and are you people start doing? It, like, what is this catchy tune? What is this catchy <laughs> tune? I have not seen that. I have not even heard of it. I like Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy's great. He's one of those actors that can kind of do just a ton of different things. Mm -hmm. And it's all generally good. Here's one. My all-time favorite movie. Okay. Forrest Gump. I'm okay. going to say something that's really horrible right now. Have you seen it? I have not seen all of it. Okay. All of it? I've seen You've some seen of some it. You've seen some of yeah. it? Okay. What what was that? What the horrible thing was that you were gonna say, or were you gonna say yes. something? Okay. Yeah, yes, that was the horrible thing that I was gonna say, <laughs> that people were gonna kill me for. <laughs> I mean, I haven't seen the Matrix, so. <laughs> I don't think that not having seen the Matrix is a killable offense. I think it's just surprising more than anything else. Because I would classify like the Matrix as a like a pretty classic movie at this point. Mm-hmm. Like, it, it was an incredibly hey, popular movie at the time that it came out. Yeah. And um, it did a lot of really, like, very interesting and incredible things visually. Um, yeah. I'm see when that movie came out and see where I was in my life at that time that allowed me to miss it. Miss it? 
Also, it might not have just been something that you were interested in. Well, I mean, it's Keanu Reeves, so there's that. Stop saying Keanu Reeves is pretty, pretty I cool. I love Keanu Reeves. Yeah. 1999. All right. Yeah. I was brand new, well, fairly new teacher. March of 99. Twenty-seven. Yeah, I was probably just going out, going out, drinking alcohol, and not drinking not alcohol. Uh, watching movies. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, that's fun. I would say, choice, but okay. I would recommend that you watch it at some point. Okay. You don't need to watch the other two. Mm -hmm. If you want to, you can, but. <clears throat> the first one's really good. Okay. Um. <laughs> All right, we're going to paint this guy's hair. Finally. Did you say, did you read? Huh? Did you decide to do red hair? Oh, I don't know. No. I don't Just know. Hair, hair. Just painting the hair. Getting it done. And uh, Muffin Man 2495, thank you for the follow. I don't think I. Thank you very much for the follow. I think part of the, the reason that this guy looks so weird is that his hairstyle is very bizarre. <laughs> and by very bizarre, I mean like real bizarre. He's That's got like a crazy real... bedhead going on. Yeah, he's got real weird swoopy hair. Bye, paint liquor. Bye, paint liquor. See you next time. All right, so I'm mixing a little bit of um, dark yellow green and a little bit of magenta to create this kind of. Or is it bone? Oh, what is this man? Yeah, dark green and magenta. To create this like first highlight of skin on the zombie. Um or the, I mean, the probably deadhead. not. I don't uh, I don't think so. I mean There's still, I think, again, it kind of goes back to why I don't watch a lot of movies is that there's something that I just know it's not real. So, <laughs> well, I didn't see Braveheart. So, I can't answer that part. I can't say anything about that. I haven't seen it either. No. But I can tell you that the... So I majored in history. I didn't teach history. I taught English. Um, 
the history teacher across the hall from me, who was wonderful, I loved her so much, she um, was Scottish and obviously a massive history buff, and Braveheart was like her favorite movie. Really? Yeah. That's funny. So if there were inaccuracies, they did not bother her. <laughs> I th I think that you know there there was a um, a movie on uh, about or the movie that was based on one of my all time favorite books, and it's a a kids book. It's called The Giver, and I think that there was something in that movie that bothered me way more than any historical inaccuracy in a movie that was supposed to be based on something that really happened. You're talking about the film rendition of the The Giver. Yeah. Yeah. What was it, out of curiosity? The the Taylor Swift part. Did you did you see the movie? I don't remember a Taylor Swift part. Did you read the book? Long time. Okay, in, so in school. The girl, the <laughs> young girl that was the giver or the receiver uh -huh. before Jonas uh -huh. in the movie was played by Taylor Swift, oh. who was well into her twenties at that time. Oh, weird. But the character obviously was only supposed to have been twelve years old. So. <laughs> well, that seems odd. Yeah. Yeah. That seems really odd. Yeah, I found that, that part to be very offensive. Very offensive. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Like, it doesn't make any sense at all for her to be that age. They were just like, we want to stick Taylor Swift in this movie. Yeah, that was, that was it. I only vaguely remember the premise of that novel. Oh, so good. It was like, it's like some like weird pseudo society sort of. Yeah, it's supposed to be like history. a utopian yeah, society yeah. where everybody has everything that they need and Except not. be perfect, <laughs> but yeah, super not. Yeah. Turns out that doesn't really yeah. exist. <laughs> Turns out everybody having everything is not a great thing to have happen Absolutely in life. Absolutely not. The whole point of the book. All right, I'm doing some highlight on the leather with a little bit of warm brown, advanced flush tone, and some bone. Doing some very simple textured line highlights here. <clears throat> you ever watch the show Grim? Grim? Yeah. Hmm. Heard of it. Another fun one. It's like uh you know, like the the grim fairy tales, like sort of. Oh yeah, like yeah. the Brothers Grimm. Brothers Grimm, yeah. yeah. It's it's like loosely based on that, um, where it's all like the German folk tale type stuff. Oh, they're like actually yeah. really dark, not cheery, like. Sort of. Yeah. It's a riff on it, okay. so it's it it's like yeah. Hard to describe. It was a fun show. I liked it. Probably not what people could would consider to be like a really good show, but I like bad shows. So. <laughs> Started off good, ended up being kind of weird. And you, I assume, have not watched Shit's Creek. Watched what? Shit's Creek. No. Oh. I love how you're like. I assume you yeah. haven't seen this. <laughs> Because I just know. Gabe, Sh Shit's Creek. 
Oh, I think yeah, I think it's a yes for Gabe too, because he says another one. He's like, what? Look, I like what I like. All right. Yep, we all do. It's okay. <laughs> I will to, put you back in scale have jail. To deal with game. I'm I'm accepting of this, Jordan. You can watch whatever you want and Thank like you, what Jen. you want, but you have to deal with Gabe. Oh, I can handle <laughs> Gabe. I have a feeling I'm gonna walk back to my desk and Gabe's gonna be like, "What?" <laughs> no. Or he's gonna walk were, in here. Are you here? Oh I, no, I haven't seen New Girl, so. Uh, I have seen Raised by Wolves. It is weird. Oh, the, I thought he was asking if you were Raised by Wolves because you haven't seen these shows. That's a, that's a show? No, that's actually a show. Oh. <laughs> and it's also very weird. We must be mass-produced, stamped, and interchangeable. We all have to like the same things. <laughs> Slayer Street. Have a great night. Bye, Slayer Street. You have time to go watch whatever show you like. Yeah. Enjoy it. Don't let anybody tell you That's otherwise. Right. <laughs> your show is your show. They uh -oh. can't steal it from you. Jade's in scale jail now. She took your place. Jade? Why are you in scale jail now, Jade? Did Chuck get mad that you haven't seen something? <laughs> Did you go, huh, when you should have been like, man, I love that thing? <laughs> Don't worry, I've been there. <laughs> All right, this guy is just about done. She won't watch 15 seasons of Supernatural with me. Oh, come on now, Jade. You can do that. <clears throat> uh, Coxie said, I'm new to the Warhammer hobby, currently assembling my Thousand Sons for 40K. I would like to awesome. know what the steps are for painting. So far, I've done prime base coat using Vallejo paints. That is a broad question. Um, that deserves an answer, so I will give you an answer. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I mean, I think starting with, if you, if you, if you want to get the whole model done and just starting with priming and doing base coats and getting the whole model done, that's a start. Nobody will ever say anything. If you have a painted collection of stuff and it's all just base coated, that's awesome. Uh, if you want to take it to the next level, you want to start doing highlights on areas where light would be hitting um, surfaces on your models um, to add a little bit more depth and realism to, to the model as well. Um, so that's where you get into doing your highlights for your, your you know highlighted areas that are being highlighted by light. <coughs> and then your shadows. And those two things alone will add a lot of depth and uh, interest to the miniatures that you're painting. Um, just like this, you know, this armor on the, ch this chest armor, right? You can see the shadow up here and it goes to highlight here. And then it goes into darkness here. And then it comes back to highlights here. And then darkness and then highlight. Has a lot of like really interesting visual appeal because it has, you know, dimension that's being created more than just the model because our our miniatures are not big enough to cast their own shadows over themselves for the most part um so you tend to have to paint in shadows to make a, a model look more realistic um yeah the awesome thing about being new to the hobby is that there are so many resources oh my gosh out there Maybe yeah. almost to the point where it's overwhelming and like yeah. you wouldn't know where to start. So um, YouTube is your friend. Our Discord is your friend. I'm, yep, I'm just getting um, a link into Discord we, right now. We have tons of videos on YouTube. 
where you can watch tons of replays of our streams on Discord that you can watch. Um, that will... Ooh, is that the right link for YouTube? Uh, I don't think it is. Oh, yeah, I think it is. I think you can't change the link. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, it does go to Monmin Hobbies. Yeah. Okay, good. Hi, Gabe. Okay. What'd you say? I, I had to pause for a second to make sure he didn't need it to, like, crack my head open. Are you taking photos for it? Can you take photos of it tomorrow? Because I wanted to do something to it to make it look fancy. We took a video of it. Okay. <laughs> no I, fanciness. Oh, Gabe, I was going to do the base, and I was going to make it look like it was finished, finished, and then you can take a nice pretty photo of it. See? Now he <laughs> likes the idea. Wait. Ow. Bye, Gabe. <laughs> I'll deal with you. Later. Are you, are you going to hang out at four? No. Because you, you haven't seen The Office. Yeah. What, if, what if we play The Office? <laughs> no, we can't do that. We could, but, we could just yeah. have a... You know what we, we should do is we need to make Jordan watch one episode of yeah. one of these shows, and then we just do like a reaction video where <laughs> he just talks about his interpretations his feelings about it. Show him. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> Can you guys hear this? <laughs> your face is on Peacock now. Oh, what did you say? I said your face is on Peacock now. Gabe. Gabe, everyone, <laughs> just you know, coming in. Uh, Not enough work yet. We we do act. There is actually a TV in front of the chairs. Yes. It directly in front of the chairs. Mm -hmm. We have chair cam. You can't see it from the chair cam because it's in front of them. Mm -hmm. But it's there. Why is the chair cam? Oh, when there's only one, the chair cam is on the side. That's kind of cool. Oh, let's see here. Uh. Coxy two three zero. Okay, thanks. I started to do glazing. However, I find that I leave a lot of patches on the base coat, which ruins it. So I have to go back over with the base coat, which I feel like is a waste of paint. Um, I mean, I wouldn't worry so much about wasting your paint. Um, paint is meant to be used, and if you're learning stuff while you're doing it, then that's you're not wasting paint. Don't worry about wasting it. Um. You're, you're, it's going to be hard for you to run through bottles of paint. It, they last a long time. They do last a long time. I paint a lot. Like, a lot. And I very rarely run out of paint. I mean, I, of course I do from time to time, but, I mean, not There'll within a reasonable period of time. There'll be certain colors that you use way more than others, but... Yeah, yeah. In all my time here, I've run through one cold, bottle of coal black, and I think it was the coal black that you already had here, so uh -huh. it was probably already used yeah. pretty heavily. So... It, and that's like a color you use on everything. You know what I mean? Um, so I, I would not worry about that too much. Coxie at all. Um, I would try doing some simple layering. Which is basically where you, you, know, you take your color. Um, let's say that I want to highlight this, this green, right? And you go, this is all base coated right now. And then I mix up a little highlight color. Despawn? We can't help you until you are ready to help yourself. Yep. Yep. It doesn't sound like you want our help because you're <laughs> not giving us the tools to help you. You need those tools, Despawn. So you take your highlight color and you basically just put it on top of where the base coat is. And the trick is to try and find a color that's pretty similar but a little bit brighter. And just slowly add little colors of highlight on there. And the more you do it, the more it will make sense and the better you'll get at it, of course. 
When I was, um, well, like the literal first time that I painted, Jason, I had this little pumpkin model and he had a hat and Jason would, he would take the model and he would paint like one little part of the pumpkin and, and then he'd hand it to me and I would replicate it. Mm -hmm. And it was a great way to start. It was a great way to start. And it was also a good model because the way he explained it was that you're going to do your base coat on everything. And then let's say you have a space of your model that's base coated. Then your next color, you're going to use, you're going to put it over that, but in a smaller, smaller part of that space. Yeah. And then a smaller part of that space where the highlight's going to be, you know, I mean, not necessarily in the middle, but wherever, you know, whatever direction the, high, the highest highlight's going to be. And that was super helpful, and I know I didn't explain that very well just now, because <laughs> it's probably more of a visual thing. But, um, yeah, we just went from base color, and then mid-tone, and then highlight at the top. Yeah, and Jason, Jason approaches painting a little bit differently than I do. Mm -hmm. um, he tends to pretty exclusively start from the darkest color yes, and work for sure, yeah. to the brighter color, Yeah, which is great. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, it works really well for him. Uh -huh. uh, I have a tendency to work from a mid-tone uh -huh. color. Oh, and then you go up and down. And then down. I go up and down. Okay, that makes sense too. Um, I find that it, it, it gives me a little bit more flexibility to control how much bright and how much dark I want. Mm -hmm. I've definitely found myself feeling like I've needed to go back in and add more shadow yeah. color. Because it's really easy when you're painting that way to over highlight because mm -hmm. you're you're working from your a small area of shadow that needs to become all the rest of your value so you're painting like the whole model or a huge chunk of the model in this like darker color mm -hmm. and then you're like okay i need to do it in a slightly brighter color yeah. and then slightly brighter color and the thing is, if you keep on doing that, you're going to get bright, but then you have a tendency to have too much dark as well. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to do this thing for Gabe really quick, because he's a goober. But the cool thing is, you guys get to see our cool texture paint in action. Our basing textures while I apply it to a short that you guys don't get to see until next week. <laughs> I painted a rock. So if you want to see the whole experience of me painting a rock for you guys, check it out next week. Comes out. Probably on Tuesday. Uh, well, hopefully on Tuesday. When they're scheduled to go out. <laughs> if you don't see it on Tuesday, you can blame Gabe. A pet rock. A pet rock. Bakamaru and Omicron Samurai. Hello. Bakamaru and Omicron Samurai. What's up, guys? How do you do? That is a sad looking brush. This brush? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I use crappy Perfect brushes for this, for this, though. Yeah. This is my I do horrible things to yeah, this brush. Yeah, maybe don't use your best brush to apply basin texture. No. It's probably no, a good no, lesson. No, 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 no. I think everybody who looks at brushes here and stuff would be very upset. <laughs> if they saw this? <laughs> yeah. Well, if they saw me doing it with, like, an ice brush. Oh, yeah. Like, can you imagine me going over to, like, any of their stations and grabbing one of those brand new brushes that they just looked over oh. and then been like, I'm going to go do something horrible to this thing. <laughs> I wonder if they feel that attachment yet. Because uh, they're all fairly new to, to that. the brush experience. Yeah. We are going to be restocking our brushes very soon. Yeah, I'm very excited. The next couple of days. -ish. I'm very excited for you guys to all buy Maybe. them out again in like two yeah. seconds. Not that there's a problem with that, but it is funny when it happens. 
just means that you guys love the brushes, which is good. Uh, sorry, Omicron Samurai. So this is the first basing material I ever bought in my Warhammer painting journey. This oh, particular so color, even, the Golden Earth? Or just our basing texture? Uh, Wolf Lord said, I have a question using burnt red, or a question, using burnt red on my nids for the skin. Yep. What wash is best to go on top? Uh, black wash would probably work well. Or brown wash. You could also mix a little bit of glaze and wash medium with um, with any of the other colors and get another one. If you want something a little bit more colorful. Like a wash of dark plum would look really good. Hello again, Gabe, sir. Yeah, you think? Definitely. Wait, Avian, we do? I love how you're like, oh, but but you already finished it already. I'm like, oh, but this. And you're like, all right, here you go. Yeah. Come on. Here you go. Awesome. That's what, that's what I'm saying. But I'm going to do it. I got to do it right. Flowers. Mountain flowers. We always, we just use our brushes. We don't, <laughs> we... I don't think we do. <laughs> now I'm making, now I'm questioning though. We don't have any kind of a texture tool, do we? No. 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 No, no, no. Like a, like a spatula or something to like yeah. scoop it. Yeah. <coughs> we don't have that. <clears throat> I mean, you know what's funny? I have used those types of tools in the past and mm -hmm. I have found that they do not work very well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a, a brush is a little bit more pointy. So it can be a little bit more specific on where you want to like direct all this stuff to. Um, Did you just say that brush is pointy? I mean, it's pointier than a <laughs> spatula is. No, no judgment over here, Jen. <laughs> Don't make fun of the brush. This is a good brush. It is a great brush. It's a fantastic brush, and that it is a deserves brush a that little is bit still, it has of a, love. A, a fully, fully usable brush and it's it yep. definitely has a, a purpose and a function still see that alone looks really good that looks great yeah we're gonna let that dry do, 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 do. oh you use a tool for something it's not for are you using like the mold line scraper or something i'm trying to think of what i mean you could use the mold line scraper it wouldn't work very well though. I, don't, I feel like it'd be too small All right. <laughs> you think you do? That's okay. Oh, speaking of, I gotta put some texture on these guys too. Don't mind if I steal the brush again. <clears throat> Is that the same? That's the same brush, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> use a sewing needle pointiest thing I have takes forever though yeah this is a good example of why you should never throw your brushes away yeah because even when you have like cruddy oh, for sure nasty yeah. beat up brushes like this this is what they're good for Jason had a brush that he called like the world's greatest brush or something like that. Oh. It might still be there. And it was um it was a, a brush that had, you know, like five little hairs that just were all directions. Mm -hmm. And he would use it to like mix in the airbrush or in, yep. in like one of his little mixing cups. That's what and, this is. Yeah. You can use old synthetic brushes. For like oh, this is definitely stippling not and the same just, material. You know, we'll, we'll paint over it. Beating things up. Don't throw your brushes away. Yeah, don't don't do it. 
Unless you accidentally use it with super glue, and then you're still kind of. Unless you what? Use super glue with it. Oh. Yeah, then it might not be any good. I have done that before. <laughs> but I have a significant amount of, like, bad brushes. So I can use crappy old brushes to, like, move super glue around. Yeah. Yeah, the handles can be used for, used for things. Stop they can be loved. Pack. You guys just got to get creative with it. And I kind of just want to clean that brush with some brush group and see what it does. You're more see than what welcome I can to. Do, what I can make it do. Yeah. I thought you literally got up out of your chair to come grab the brush from me. I was oh, like, no. oh my gosh. <laughs> nah. You were serious. <laughs> you were not kidding. I mean, I would do it. I mean, the brush group, your brush group is, is one of a kind. It is the best I have ever used. Thank you. Yeah, you're, it's, it's true. Good brushes, don't care what happens brushes, and dead brushes. All right. We got texture on these three guys. <clears throat> oh, oh, that Twinkie is not sitting well in my stomach. Uh oh. Yeah. Twinkie's revenge. Twinkie's revenge. That's no good. Yes, yeah, make me make me a little queasy. That's not what we want our, our thingamabobs to do. Did you eat any real food? Yeah. For yeah. lunch? I, yeah, had some like chicken teriyaki with oh, rice. Yeah. <laughs> See, Gabe, he, would, he won't get that. What? Gabe said dibs on band name. Is that an office joke? No, it's Parks and Recreation. How old was the Twinkie? I don't think it was old. We just got him today. Yeah, it was a brand new box. Not that that means anything. Well, unless the, unless the reason he's able to send us all the hostess is because it's all stuff that they can't sell anymore because it's expired. <laughs> Did anybody those look things expi don't expire. Hostess, anybody look at those darn... Hostess does not have an expiration date. They'll outlive all of us. Oh. <sighs> I would not be the only person. I feel fine. Yeah. I've eaten some Hostess snacks. And I feel <laughs> fine. It could have just been that I ate like a really big lunch that had yeah. rice and then I downed a whole thing of water. Yeah. It's never a usually a good idea. <laughs> Which is unfortunate because my lunch was salty. So it's making me really thirsty. Oh. I hate that one. Makes yeah, I'm sure that they have to have some kind of date on them, but. Unless they just don't ever go back. Smarter people than I. Resolve the answer to this question. <clears throat> Alright. I think this guy pretty much done. Do like maybe I was hoping the Chronic Toast would be here so that we could thank him for the treats. The very speedy delivery. <clears throat> Alright. That's good enough. This guy. Time to paint. Ha, huh, yes we did. That's what you get for not being here. Oh, it's that guy! <laughs> <coughs> we got uh, two boxes of Hostess treats delivered. Hi. And in those two boxes, there were lots of other boxes of Hostess treats. Yeah, see, look, I got one right here. I saved you a box of the cinnamon crumb cakes. 
You didn't need all of them, Gabe. There's one right here. <clears throat> <laughs> here, you know what? You know what? We're gonna we're gonna enjoy this on stream just to make you jealous. <laughs> it would have been better if this was like your favorite one. Yeah. I didn't know you were gonna be here, so <laughs> yeah, I quit. <laughs> Not allowed to quit, Jason. Uh, one more time on the wash recommendation for Burnt Red for Wolf Lord. Uh, yeah, black, I would wash. probably use black. If you're to use one a wash that we already have made, uh, black or brown would potentially be good. Um, I think flesh wash is going to be a little too... It's not quite going to be dark enough to give you like really yeah. nice definitive detail. Because um, Burnt Red is already pretty dark. Um... But you could also like mix your own wash with uh, glaze and wash medium and another color that's nice and dark. You could go with you know Payne's gray. You could go with you know dark plum. There's a lot of other routes that you can <coughs> <coughs> that you can go. So speaking of, here it is. Uh, <laughs> yum. Too bad you're not here to steal a cake, Jason. Why, 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 why? Although, to be funny. We got him super fast. I, we're pretty sure that he just came into chat yesterday and said he was going to send him. I think so. I'm, yeah. like, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I feel like maybe he already had him on the way. Uh, Coxie said, would you do a model painting with a color mix of blue and magenta slash pink for, are you asking for an example of those colors together? Oh, it wasn't yesterday? Okay, maybe it was Friday. Feels like yesterday. Feels like just yesterday. Yes, okay. He's got to find something to, to test yeah, that out yeah. on for you. Would purple look good as a wash for white? Yeah. Purple and white. Don't but ask I mean, questions assume, about the, the, the Discord challenge. I, can I, assume, I cannot answer them. I assume it would... I mean, it would depend on what you're using it for and whether <clears throat> it would look right, but purple and white are great. No cheating, Desmon. I know what you're trying to do. Are you allowed to use washes? On the No, challenge? but I can't give feedback on, on the challenges. No, but I mean, like, are they allowed to use washes? Oh, of course. Oh, okay. Yeah. I've seen what you've been working on in, in the Discord desk spawn. Oh. <laughs> I know. Are we doing blue... Magenta and pink, or blue magenta and, slash or, okay. pink. Yeah, like a magenta, like a pink color. Probably our magenta. <clears throat> I'm gonna just do this. Our magenta is very pinky. I use dark magenta over blue with a little bit of like faded ultramarine highlight. Look kind of nice. So this is just regular blue. The dust one said, I looked it up and people said purple shadows look weird with white, so I didn't want to try it on my mini. I mean, you can always try it and then change it. I don't, I don't see why purple wouldn't look good. 
People, People are, are wrong. wrong. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, purple shadows are great. I mean, heck, in in the reference image that I sent to that Discord to the to the challenge is literally a white armor that has purple undertones. Oh. <laughs> like and it's an incredible looking model. Yeah, Despawn, go go to the Discord to the to the the September challenge. Scroll up a bunch and you'll see a really beautifully painted um, Eldar Scream Banshee, and you'll see exactly what 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 that is like. Who's got advice for painting an Imperial Fist Rhino? I mean, this guy. <laughs> I'd say that guy, but he's like not here. I mean, he's here, but he's not. He's here, but he's not. You know, he took the day off. He just, you know, he's a slacker. He's slacking. Yeah. You know, he's supposed to be at like some meeting, but he's still chatting yeah. with us. Well, no, he's... the meeting was supposed to be until like four o'clock. I like, know. He, he got it's four fifty nine. I'm so getting fired tomorrow. <laughs> <clears throat> Hi, Jason. Two fifty. He was supposed to be working until four o'clock. Two fifty. It was done he at two fifty. Oh, yeah. my goodness. I got to go lock up the doors. I will be back. We were efficient. Are you at home petting the dog? Yes. This is very important, Jason. Are you at home yeah. petting the dog? Okay. That's good. The dog needs love. And you know what? She is not lacking it. I know. I know. But y'all deserve a little bit of rest and relaxation, all right? You guys work hard. Being Jen and Jason, the rest of us just slack off and do nothing all day. I mean, look at that Gabe guy. He just like came in here to chastise me about not having seen the, the office. How dare he! Fuck him, Martin. <coughs> <coughs> oh, I I'm telling. Good for Jabe. He should. All right, so we got that blue. It's dry now. And we're going to use some dark magenta to shade it. So our dark magenta is a really, really nice shade. <clears throat> uh, very little. I had a lot of, uh, well, I say very little. I had a little bit of too much dampness on my brush when I mixed it. Um, this is about the consistency of it right out of the, the bottle. But it is very transparent by nature. So if I were to paint that on to this red in the background, right? But yeah, the our our Dark magenta is freaking awesome. Uh, and then you can also use our regular magenta if you want. But this is a bit brighter. So if you wanted to like highlight with it, you could. I'd mix it into a little bit of this blue. Although this might still be darker now. No, nope, it works okay. It's just like a really pale highlight. But it's not quite as bright as I would want it to be. So I would probably end up um, either mixing more magenta into it. Get this kind of color.
You do something like that. Yeah, I'm not super familiar with those particular hues. Um, but I mean, ours ours works really, really well, as you can see, both as a shade and a highlight for blue. So you do that. Highly recommend. All right, back to the pot wizard. We're gonna paint the pot wizard's pot. A nice dark steel. Using the dark silver for this. And we're going to give this a brown wash afterwards. Uh, you could use the black wash if you wanted to. It'll be a little bit more kind of neutrally black. Um, I want a little bit of that kind of earthy color from the brown brought into it. So I like to use brown instead. But you can definitely achieve really good things with either option. Although I probably should have painted the inside of this first. But you know what? Who needs good planning? Who needs it? It's not. Not required. Might be a good Christmas present to ask for. What set would you recommend would be the best for myself? My paint scheme is blue, magenta, gold, silver, white, black. The base set, 100%. And then um, the, the base set is going to have all of those colors except for the gold and the silvers. Um, those are in their own set. We have our metallic set, which would be a great place to get those. Um... When Jen gets back, we can we can put a link into chat for the uh, the store link so you can you can check those out. Um, but I think either one of those or, or definitely at the base set um, because it's it's a really good uh, selection of colors. It has twenty four colors from. Thank you, Jason. Uh, it has twenty four colors from our range. It's a fantastic starting point. It's gonna have all of your you know it's gonna have your white, black, blue, red. Sky blue, yellow, green, mahogany, umber, light, um, dark umber, light umber, um, golden browns. You're going to have a couple of grays in there. You're going to have uh, tan flesh. Um, so you're going to have all sorts of really, really fantastic colors in there. Um, you can, yeah, like the Punisher says, you can build your own bundle as well. Um, it's a little bit more difficult to do if you, the person buying a gift for you um because you'd have to give them like a, an exact list of colors that you wanted um instead of just saying hey i want the base set from money and hobbies um but they can customize their own set with colors um that and you'll get the set discount if you buy eight or more colors so you can customize your own set <clears throat> yeah they were just talking about it being a, a good christmas present um and I know that if I were to give a list of paints to somebody in my family as a Christmas present, they'd be like, what the heck is this? I'm just going to get you a gift card instead to like Nike or something <laughs> because they would have no idea. <clears throat> um, but yeah, you can build custom sets. Uh, eight or more colors, put them all in your cart. The, the set discount will automatically be applied. It's roughly 10%. Or just buy the entire set at once. I mean, that makes it real easy. Thank you, Gosu. Wonderful suggestion. But yeah, base set, metallic set. That'll be a great place to start. All right, so we are going to do some cool glowy stuff on the inside of this here pot. So... I gotta get white. Go, so you bought the whole set sight unseen. That's awesome.
Man, you guys are you guys are killing it. Only a year so far of painting. That's crazy. That's both so much time and so little time at the same time. He's time three times in that sentence. That was great. So I'm going to base coat the inside of this pot with white so that all of my bright fluorescent colors um, really, really, really scream off of the model because they're really, really bright, crazy colors. Trying to get my brush in here, so excuse the angles a little bit because it's going to be a little wonky. The question <coughs> becomes, what color am I making the magic for this army? And I don't know. I Well, I kind of do know. I think it's going to be like an orange. I think it would go nicely. I could also just do different colors for different pot wizards so that I can identify them a little bit better. But I like the idea of having a, like a cohesive color for the magic for armies that I paint. Misty Blue, Christmas Sushi, hanging out in chat, saying hello. What's up, buddy? How's it going? Chilling. Nice. So we're going to cover this whole thing in white. Now, it's not going to all end up being white or, or the color of the, the glow at the end. But this will at least give me a nice foundation to build up a, to build from to get the rest of the color. We're painting Rodigus right now. By the way, Christmas Sushi, you got to come pick up your your stinky ring wraith. Have the stinky ring wraith for for the Christmas Sushi right here. And he convinced me to paint up so stinky this was also used with our fluorescence this is a fluorescent green over white um uh, transparent white which i airbrushed on and it looks super duper green it's way more green in person than it is on this uh on the on the video it is super duper green Oh God, dropping it. Yep. This is super easy to replicate. It's just airbrush, transparent white from underneath. And then you airbrush the fluorescent green right over it. What do you mean? I'm not gonna break it. Whoa. It's going to sit here freaking you guys out. That's right. You can't get it yet. And no, I'm not going to paint your whole army on stream.
I mean, unless Jason, you and Jason, uh, have a, an agreed upon trade and I'm just being the, now you know how I feel being in scale jail. Come on now. <clears throat> Talking about this morning tide, this green, this is most definitely not bright yellow green. This is this fancy schmancy little bottle right here that is a sample of our fluorescent green. We have quite a few. Oh. Depleted uranium pigment. Yep. <coughs> hey, look. It's part of my job description. I get to tease you guys all the time. I'm not taking your money yet. Yeah, how about this? Some, some awesome magenta. Maybe I'll do magenta. Use some of the... The purple and the magenta. Just uh just to freak you guys out. Welcome back, Jen. Thanks. Did I miss the pink? I wanted to see how that turned out. Bada boom, bada bang. That's the dark magenta Ooh, as a shade. Nice. Over blue. Oh, that looks really good. And then a bit of um magenta mixed into blue. To, uh, to do a little bit of highlight uh -huh. just to show what it looked like. Good. <clears throat> no, Jason, we did not give away bags. <laughs> we did I'm not. Going back, I'm going back to read chat to find out what I missed. Yeah. You didn't miss too much. <laughs> Christmas sushi showed up. <clears throat> He's doing Christmas sushi things. I'm doing a little bit of a gradient here onto the inside of the pot. So I don't want it to be super duper crazy bright. All right, I gotta, I gotta do the thing. I gotta paint this guy's helmet. Did anyone answer Coxie's questions about the transparent paints? Uh. Did you talk about transparency at all? No. Okay. I might have missed it. Oh, Coxie, yeah. What are the transparent paint range? Um, Coxie, if you're still here, uh, it is a line of paints that we have. Uh, that are basically a single pigment, trans fully transparent colors. They're not inks. They're not super watery. They have the consistency of all the rest of our paint, but they're just super, super saturated and very transparent. Um, they are some of the most versatile paints that we have in the line. And you can use them for anything between, you know, creating filters on a model uh, to do some like subtle modulation of, of, of color. So like if you want to turn like a green that's a little bit more yellow into more of like a regular green, you can do that. Um, or if you want to, you can shade with them, you can glaze with them, you can turn them into washes, you can turn them into like contrast paint equivalents or like speed paint equivalents. Um, they are incredibly flexible. Yeah, I use them on literally every project. 
And there are some paints that are also very similar in a lot of ways to our transparents, like our dark magenta is a very transparent color. So it acts in, in a very similar way a lot of the time, even though it's not formulated the same way. <coughs> All right, the white in this is going to take forever to, to dry. So I'm going to have to come back to that in a little bit. Um, so we got a little bit of our dark bronze here. We're going to use that to paint over this. Because we're not doing non-metallic metal anymore. <laughs> womp, womp, womp. It's OK. Dust Bond, you can't figure out the transparent colors. There's blue. There's green. Red. If you want a really in-depth look at our transparent colors, go back a couple of months in our VODs on YouTube. Um, there will be a... <coughs> <coughs> there will be a VOD... With this guy, that's a good one. Where I painted this model uh, in two sessions, um, with predominantly uh, transparent paints. This is like. Probably 50% of the painting that I did on this is, is transparent, if not more. I painted it in seven hours, Morning Tide. <laughs> painted it in seven hours. You can watch the VODs of me painting it from start to finish. And and are you saying that it's because of the transparent paints that you did it yes. so fast? Yeah. Yeah, the transparent paints are the reason why it, it got mm -hmm. done so fast. That and the washes. <laughs> Dry brushing. I go through the whole process. So. <laughs> I am being fully transparent in game delay. I am a huge fan of transparency in my paints. <laughs> and in my life. <coughs> but, um. But, yeah. This was, was tons of transparency. You didn't even see... Like all this brown back here for this is all transparent. The stone is transparent with a little bit of dry brush over it. Uh, this color is all gradients of transparent colors that I mixed. Um, it's like white transparent mixed with a little bit of green and a touch of blue. Um, and then I washed it all, or I dry brushed it and then washed it all with, um, with our brown wash. Um, yeah. These snakes are all transparent with a little bit of dry brush over them afterwards. Do you know if the video is pretty easy to locate? Like, is it should this be a picture. It like, should, the, 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 thumbnail. the thumbnail should be a okay. picture of this. Yeah. Cool. I, it'll be the, like the Zenithil starting point. I think, I don't think it was painted, but it'll be this model. Yeah. Yeah. And then it would be it's the VOD immediately after it. I and I believe the VOD immediately after that. <clears throat> but it was like a it was Thursday, Friday, and then I think I did some finishing touches on on Monday. But it was like seven hours. Yeah. Because it would have been three hours on Thursday, two hours on mm -hmm. Friday, and then probably two on Monday would be my guess. So amazing. I'm gonna watch it after stream. <laughs> yeah, I mean, though I literally like the first vod is just solo me explaining how to do it. Because Jason was not here that day. Or he wasn't able to stream. So it was just me doing my thing and taught, explaining how how to do it. So, yes, transparents are freaking awesome. Pretty amazing. I'll have to do another project like this Des in the future. Despawn, if you think about, um, like, filters, <clears throat> like photo filters, how... 
you can see the, the picture and then maybe like on Instagram you use a pre-made filter and it changes the, the color because mm -hmm. it like puts something sheer over the top of it. That would be the transparent paints. Yeah. Or another way to th think of it, I don't know if a ton of people also experienced this in school growing up, but uh, one of my science teachers taught us about light and they used a flashlight with those thin transparent um, sheets of color and showed how color interacted with, with the light. And that's kind of the same yeah, yeah, yeah. concept in a lot of ways. It, it's a similar sort of idea, even if it, the application is different, because it's like light instead of subtractive mixing, which is what you're doing with, you know. Jason probably took another painting. one of his days off. Yeah, Jason he was, so yeah, many. he was just being lazy at he home, playing the life playing of leisure, Noida. that guy. Don't let him tell you any different. Vacations. <clears throat> He was at a meeting today. Yeah, he was at a meeting today. <laughs> and it and it ran an hour early. Yeah. <laughs> Cuz they were that efficient. <laughs> <laughs> Is stream on every day? Every weekday. Monday through Friday. Yep, Monday through Friday we stream Somebody on um <laughs> Uh Monday, Trading. Wednesdays and Fridays we stream from 12 to 2 and on Tuesdays and Thursdays like today we stream from 2 to 5. And we use Pacific constant. time Pacific. as the time yeah. that we follow. Yep. PDT currently. PDT. Will Training how to lay on a couch. Throw back my legs and pollute my britches with delight. Oh, thank you, Chaotic Painting, thank for you. the Twitch Prime. Three months. Word. Word. And thank you, Coxie, for the follow. Come hang out with us. We are here all the time. And yeah. we talk about painting a lot. And about movies, too. And food. <laughs> yeah, a lot of food talk. Robots sometimes. Yeah, bad jokes. Bad jokes. Dad jokes. Dad jokes. So they're oftentimes bad. Yeah. The reason that they sound the same. Yes. So nice living in, it, living in Arizona when there was no change for doubts. That is true. We don't have to worry about Well... We do, sort of, because we care about other people. But we don't have to change our clocks, which is always fantastic. Yards Tony said, you know what, Jay the Younger, you are doing well without Jason. I'm sure he is happy as oh free for those important meetings. Everyone is doing such a great job. I'll accept go back Evos in return for this praise. <laughs> Yards Tony, you are a liar. <laughs> so you'll accept my love and appreciation in training on how to dead. identify the paint colors by taste only definitely not nope mm -mm. not condone such behavior no 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 that's what my icon says that is indeed true i do not have an icon that says liar therefore no. i am not a liar baby j can be trusted i can Maybe. speak no lie <laughs> All the more reason for the extra training. <laughs> Agu. <laughs> Noida. Noida. He's not playing that one right now. No. He's playing the vampire game now. <laughs> I mean, maybe not right now. Maybe right now. I don't know. He might be. Are you petting dog? Or are you painting? Or are you playing vampire survivors? He might be playing Vampire Survivors because they be. would be on the computer and he would be able to be lurking. Anything on paint thinning on YouTube? Anything on paint thinning? Uh, I mean, we talk about it a lot. What kind of questions do you have about paint thinning, Coxie? Panic bomb, he seems to be enjoying it. I go in there, and there's a lot going on. <laughs> on the screen? <laughs> yes. It's and a pretty it's wild all game. like a little circle, all the stuff around it. Yeah. It's, uh, it's wild. There was one guy that threw Bibles. Yep. Something about, there were cats at some point, I think. There were cats at some point. Yeah. Flowers, some crazy flowers. 
it's it's funny uh, hearing about Jen's experiences of this game <laughs> through just pure watching it. I, I literally go in and like stand behind him and like rub his head or scratch his back while he's playing his game, and I just stare at it trying to figure out what's happening. And I I usually don't know. All right, Jen. But he's having fun, and that's all that matters. True. <laughs> True that. Bakamaro said Vampire Survivor is a pretty great case for not needing AAA graphics to be a good game. The, the, uh, it reminds me of like an old video game. Uh, we talked to Jason and I were talking about that, that he said it was like Frogger, but um, it did. It looks like an old video game where you would go to the arcade and like put a quarter in it and play the game. Yep. Uh, so the question about thinning paint from Coxie is how much to thin it so that I don't overpaint details? How well, much to thin it so that I don't overpaint details, etc. And for washes, because I find some paints are thicker than others. Well, with, with our paints, uh, you'll notice that our paints are all very consistently fluid. And that you don't generally need to thin our paints to paint with them. Um, and Feeling like Coxie is probably not using Pro Chrome. Okay. So then it... it I feel like Vallejo was mentioned, maybe? Yeah. So <clears throat> you want to thin them to a consistency where... Um, how do I describe this consistency? Because you want to, the, the idea is you want to get good coverage, uh, which we call opacity. Um, but you don't want to lose, you don't want to take forever to get that coverage by applying too many thin layers. So I think the goal would be to find a consistency where you get nice coverage but it's still pretty thin. You also see you find bubbles in the paint. That's weird. That should not be happening. <laughs> um, here, so let me... Bubbles in the paint. Like this green, for instance. This is right out of the bottle. It's pretty thin. Um, if you can see this consistency at all. I don't, I don't know that thin is the right word. Fluid. Fluid. Yeah. It's not thick. No. Yeah. But you get really good coverage. You see how it's covering basically in one coat here. But it's, you know, I don't have to thin this any more than what is the dampness on my brush. And the paint itself from our, our bottles, right? So you can see that there's no buildup. It's a nice, smooth, even coat. So you want to find something kind of like that. But what you don't want is you don't want to thin it out a bunch and have it be really watery. Now, this can be good for certain applications, but it is not good for doing base coats. You'll notice that it's thinner, it's more transparent because it's leaving more of the color of my skin showing through. You can see when I paint it onto my thumbnail, right? You can see just a hint of that green coming through. So as you thin paint with water, it will become less opaque and it will cover, it won't cover as well, but it will allow you to add color over things and change what the color underneath is, which is cool. So we call that filtering. Um, <clears throat> so that's a pretty good starting point, at least to get you to a place where hopefully you're comfortable with the 
fluidity of your paint and and mixing to get the right thin coats on your model. Jade, have a good night. Good night, Jade. Chuck, if you're still here. See you guys later. Um, I would also just spend some time practicing. There's there's nothing that can beat time just putting paint on models. Mixing paint in your palette, that sort of thing. You'll get the most amount of experience out of that. And then you can always ask questions of us to, you know, help inform that, that practice that you're doing. Out of frame a little bit. Oh, sorry. On the bottom there. Paint, painting the chain mail here. This is dark silver. Yeah, Discord, always a great resource. Um, and the streams here, a great resource. Yes, we love to talk painting. Our Discord is full of thousands of amazing artists that are super duper helpful and love to share their work and their knowledge with the community at large. And you'll also find that there's a lot of people who are new to the hobby. Yes. Um, so it's a very welcoming place to ask questions. Um, you can always tag Baby J or Slowfuse in your questions because mm -hmm. they are the painting experts here. Well, of course, switch to Proco. We definitely think that that's a good choice. <laughs> I mean, that helps but too. If it's not a practical, uh, you know, change that you can make at this time, that's understandable. Yeah. Everyone here painted with other paints before Procro, so. Except for, except for Gosu, I think. Well, I meant everyone, all of us here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we have a lot of experience with a lot of other brands of paint, so we know what works and what doesn't and how to, how to get stuff to work for you in places where, you know, things are being a little weird, that sort of thing. So, I mean, there's like 60 some odd years of experience or, between Jason and I. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. we, we have done the time, figured it all out to be able to, to impart knowledge to you guys, which we both love to do. One of my favorite things about this job is being able to answer questions for you guys and help you become better. More dark silver. This is a good color. Hey, Tim. Hello, Tim. One of the other drivers called two hours later, I'm back. Like, did you have to do like someone else's job? Is that what you're saying? That's a bummer. Thirty hours into your work week on Tuesday. Oh, <laughs> you were just talking on the phone, okay. Getting these little bits and bobs colored up.
base coat and all this dark silver here. What's he cooking in that big pot? Something dangerous. <laughs> they ain't calling the pot wizard for nothing. Uh, I, I mean, Jordan, how often do you clean your brushes? Almost never. <laughs> I think Jason would have that same answer. Um, but Rinse this it is, out really well. Yeah, this is done. one of those do as I say, not yeah. as I do sort of things. Your brushes will last longer. They definitely will last longer if you clean them yes. regularly. Yes. You don't have to clean them every day. But if you're painting every day, maybe clean them once a week. Um, if you start to see that your brushes aren't holding a point, you might need to clean it. Yep. I, I, I'm sure that there are some people who clean after every single session. Definitely. But I know people you, who do uh, that. As long as you rinse it really well, you might be okay. But yeah, like I said, if the brush is not coming to a point anymore, um, it could be because of just dried paint in the ferrule. Yep. Which you want to avoid as much as possible. But Good job, Tim. Almost impossible. That's what, that's what we like to hear. He said almost. I know. I'm not giving him 100% credit here. <laughs> he gets the almost Still better credit. than uh, what you said. <laughs> that's true. Twice a session, Death Spawn. Wow. Yeah, if you're using brush goop, the last step is definitely to, um, and you just put a little bit on your fingers and pull your brush to a point and just leave it there. Um, but it, it does stiffen, so make sure you rinse it really well um, so that you don't break any of the hairs. Uh, if it's, if it's difficult to keep paint out of the ferrule, then you might want to clean it more. Because really you should be, I guess it depends on the size of the brush you're using too. If you're using a super tiny brush, then you're going to probably have more paint getting down into the ferrule. But like the large brush like Jordan's using right now, he mostly is just using the tip of the brush. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't eat the paint. Don't eat the paint. <laughs> You're not allowed to eat the paint. I mean, brushes are consumable products. They are not meant to last forever. Correct. Well, especially if you're using natural hair brushes because it's hair and it's going to break and Turns out fray and, hair does things yeah. that hair does yep. when you use it like places and things. But yeah, our... Drunken Brush Goop does have conditioners in it. Um, so it's going to, not only is it the cleaning that's helping, but the, the conditioners are going to keep the, the, um, the brush hairs from getting brittle, drying out. <laughs> Need a stream button to pop up. Don't eat the paint banner when we start getting deranged. That's we should just funny. have that just pop That'd up so every good. once in a while. <coughs> Friendly reminder. Oh, don't be afraid to use your brush. Again, yeah. they are meant to be used. They are meant Put to be used. Put paint on it. Get a good feel for it. it. You might not even like that brush. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll put it this way. Coxie, if you're doing something that you're like, I probably shouldn't be doing this to my brush. Then don't, don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> if you're like, don't my brush put is your working brush, great. Don't use your brush to apply glue. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't you know jam and, your brush onto the model, like. And you know, obviously that is <clears throat> in jest, but like, um, for for a good sable brush like that, maybe you don't want to use it with metallic paint or any kind of basing texture, or anything like that. Um, basing texture for sure. Metallic yeah. paint, uh, you're okay. It's, it's, 
<laughs> Good it's practices. Fine. It's fine if you clean your brush. Yeah. But yeah. if you're using metallic, you might want to clean your brush more often. Yeah, just remember, like, metallic paint has, you know, mica flake, which yes. is metallic flake in exactly. it. Exactly. So it is another abrasive on the inside of your brush. Correct. So if you don't get it all out, it's going to stay in there and it's going to, you know, cause problems. Yeah, it's, again, it's based on the, the painter, you know? And if, but the, my point behind saying that is that if you're concerned about messing up a brush and, and that's holding you back, just use it with your regular opaque paints. Don't, don't use it with metallics. You see Telemachus? That's so good. <laughs> that's so good. <laughs> That's so good. Welcome back to Lemmicus. Hi, Telemachus. <laughs> That's incredible. Thank you for imparting that onto my brain today. Yeah, Bakamaro, that's a great point as well. Don't let a model sit without paint just because you're nervous about it. Yeah, you can't really mess up a model. The only way you're going to get better at painting is by is doing it. Paint. Yeah, do the thing. Yeah. All right, I think it's time to put some fluorescent on this stuff. Here we go. Yep, can always repaint it. Lots of options. I didn't realize that there was like a thing of tape around here. Oops. Oh man. Ooh, pink. Good old magenta. Oh, is that magenta or is mm -hmm. that that's fluorescent pink? Well, I mean, it's flu. Well, well, yeah, it's fluorescent pink, which is pretty much magenta. Well, okay, but it's it's not our magenta. No, 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 no. This pink. is fluorescent okay. pink. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> now you don't need to use simple green. Just paint over it. <laughs> Telemachus said, it's too bad Jordan wasn't around when I was printing my puns on perforated paper. They were terrible. This is great. <laughs> I've been watching so much, like, silly pun stuff on, on YouTube lately. It's been great. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of stand-up. It's been great. Impending Duff, it is. Fluorescent pink. Impending Duff? What's up? How do you do? What's up, Dub? <laughs> the Landar the Red said, I can't say any dad jokes. I have no kids. It would be a faux papa. A faux papa. <laughs> My goodness. Y'all are the worst. And the best. And the best. <laughs> but definitely the worst. <laughs> Tony boy, thank you for that Twitch Prime sub. Well, hello, thank you. I mean, maybe we can get Jordan to show off the containers. They're just samples right now. Are they asking about what which ones we have? Uh, no, Duff just said he needs it. He needs oh. them. <laughs> he needs good neons. Yeah, I can't have them yet. It's way brighter. In person. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The 100%. pink is pretty close, like, but so much brighter than what you see on camera. Yeah, it's funny. It looks it looks less similar in the bottle than it does on the model. Mm. That looks great. I love that. Valandar said, I'm printing up a pair of numberless dice, a D12 and a D6, that I will be using for random color choices as part of a personal challenge. Oh, that's cool. That sounds fun. So you're going to roll the dice, like, for each part of the model? Or are you going to roll the dice, like, at the beginning of the model to determine Your color the palette. whole thing? Holy crap, that green. Yep. Yeah. It's this is this is with our fluorescent. Yeah. 
A stinky ring wraith. That's definitely not a ring wraith. It's great. Uh. <clears throat> Very much enjoying that pink. Me too. It's really good. D12 has the base color, red, black, yellow, etc. And the D6 is warm, neutral, cool. And the idea is I would roll for primary, secondary, and trim colors. And then the brightness and saturation would decide for myself. Very fun. That sounds awesome. All right, so we're going to let all that dry before we put another coat on. Okay, so if you rolled a warm green, it could make it dark desaturated olive or a really bright neon chartreuse. Chartreuse. Fun, fun, fun. Ha, 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 ha. Have you invested into the 40K 10th edition, Jordan? Yes, I have. Uh, too much. I have not. <laughs> too much. I have two armies. I, in fact, I don't, do I have? They might be at home. They are at home. I have a, a chunk of... Uh, I have a chunk of... Um, Grey Knights that are like half painted um and i have a ton an absolute bucket load of gene stiller cults that is true except for uh uh gray knights because they're like literally the opposite of heretical but i have like this stuff is my Sons of Horus Contemptor Dreadnought and I have this thing I started working on this is for a, a short on YouTube this is just a starting point that is Jason Tim yeah <laughs> no no views <laughs> uh do you want to show the other fluorescence oh yeah yeah yeah. we can do that right i'm painting duff all right we got pink oh, you've seen this one good pink good good pink good violet yeah i like that one too it's really good lying liar who lies and then we have <clears throat> green which you have all seen like that rhyme mm -hmm. <laughs> and yellow very excited you need a nap go take a nap god darn it you deserve a nap rocket chicken rocket chicken 81 months holy cow hello This is the one the that's orange? the least impressive. On, the orange? On the screen. Oh, on camera. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is punchy as heck. It's so good. Uh, and then we have this one, which is not going to exist. Yeah, don't show that one. We're not showing <laughs> this one. I can't get that one. <laughs> this, this is going to be something else. We're going to have a, a red to go with this one. So this is orange, and we're going to have a red. The blue, the, uh, the blue fluorescents don't really work very well. Um, they don't have the same kind of punch that the rest of these colors do. Um, so we're going to go with a um, red. red instead. Telemachus, you're going to need to make a whole lot of better jokes than the one you just put up. Uh-oh. If you're going to get me to secretly yeah. ship you that stuff. How about this? You gotta impress Jason. When Jordan uh, needs something shipped, 
He gives it to me. Yeah. So... And you know who's not going to send it out? Jed. Not sending it out. <laughs> Yeah, blue floor like like Mo said, blue yeah. fluorescent doesn't really work great. Um, the the yeah, the pigment just doesn't work very well in a fluoro type of way. But these are these are the five that we have here, and these are definitely so good. What we're looking for that'll be fun. Excited. It makes me want to buy something, um, or not buy something. It makes me want to paint something like super 80s vibrant, themed. Oh yeah, like an eighties themed diorama or something. Yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. Those are the six. Jen can be you bribed with crumble no. deliveries. Uh, you're talking to the wrong person. Sort of. I can be bribed with crumble deliveries, but only if they're strawberry shortcake related. <laughs> I don't think they have that one right now. No. They change all the time. They do. Do we know when the new signature sets will make it to Australia? I don't know. Um, so with Australia, it takes a long time for stuff to get there from us. Um, just because of the way uh, I am? I don't know if I am. Um, <laughs> oh, goodness. But yeah, so it takes, it, it takes a while to get this stuff to Australia. So that is a, a question that I cannot answer at this time. Yeah. Fortunately. The, the um, process just takes time. Yeah. We don't, and we don't, we, we work with a distributor in Australia, but we don't have a lot of visibility on the stores. So it makes it really challenging for us on that. Uh, Coxie would like to know if you highlight over the fluorescence. Mm hmm The Arts Tony wants to know what happens if you mix the green fluorescent with one of the brighter blues. Does it negate the effect? Yes. Any time that you cover the fluorescent up or mix it with something else, it will be less intense. Which is great when you're trying to shade it because you want to have it be more focused. So, like... All of this here is going to get shaded down so that that glow is just in the recesses of the cauldron. And then that'll have that, that really nice kind of like subtle, super hot glow in the middle. And then it'll be, you know, a little bit darker around the rest of the the well, because it should mostly be smoke. Seismic, thank you. We are, <clears throat> are trying really hard to... Um to grow in Australia, for sure. I know Jason met with um, with the Australian distributor when he was at Gen Con, mm -hmm. and they were pretty excited. So hopefully good things are coming. It's hard to ship anything over It's there. just really hard to ship there. It's, just, it's, it's the, so far away. It's a fact of life, unfortunately, yeah. at this point. Getting, getting anything over there or from Australia is just well, a, and even buying it directly from us, you know, is yeah. not a great idea. USPS, for the longest time, had suspended, like, they wouldn't accept any shipments to Australia. Are you serious? Yeah, because they just oh kept, they kept losing them. They had such a hard time. It was during COVID, um, oh, okay, where sure. they suspended a lot of uh, shipments to a lot of different countries. Yeah. Um, but yeah, for a really long time, we couldn't even ship anything to Australia. Wow. So that's, that's back, but... Um, I'm glad we have we the ability to do so now. Yeah. But it's still, you know, crazy shipping situation. Is that a thing that came about before or after COVID? What? The, because I, I know it hasn't always been crazy to ship stuff to. Oh, yeah. I think just shipping anywhere in the world yeah. changed during COVID. Right. Um, well, 
I think that gave the shipping providers an easy excuse to make it more expensive to yeah to make it more expensive you yeah. know and to blame staffing issues for delays which yeah. i get i mean it all made sense at the time but they're still kind of hanging on to those excuses yeah now that they don't have a reason yeah. to make those excuses anymore. i think they kind of were hoping <coughs> that it was that we uh would just like <clears throat> be like oh okay this is just the way it is now yep <laughs> you know? yep mm. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Yeah. But we, we do what we can. Especially for us with, you know, so much of what we do is online. Yeah. Well, and we want to support, you know, the whole world. Yeah, for sure. You know, we, we want everybody to have Procrill as easily as yep. it is for somebody to come to the store and pick it up. Absolutely. Right? Well, and we talked, too, about how, you know, like, we don't, we don't have free shipping on our website. And um, because shipping is... is so um unpredictable like they change shipping prices all the time yes. and you know change the transit times yep. and um yeah so it's a big pain uh we can ship to the uk but there are stores all over the place there that that carry our yeah. products yeah. so that one we do know for sure it's way easier to get it from definitely Element. buy from a store in the or, uk or in, yeah <laughs> Um, same with like um, with the EU. There's stores all throughout the EU, all throughout Canada. Yep. Um, things are are available potentially earlier if you buy them direct from us. But there's no reason to pay the shipping prices. Yeah. It's just not. Just wait a month yeah. or a couple of weeks potentially, depending on where you live. But yeah, shipping is just such a weird thing that I never, you know, never really thought much about it until you had to do it all the time. Until I had to do it all the time. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> and now I know way too much. <laughs> yeah, you're like, I wish I knew less about shipping stuff. throwing a brown wash over the, the leather and all this stuff that we got going on this guy. And then, you know, another thing to consider, too, is that we're not big paint. You know, we, we do everything from this building that yep. Jordan and I are in right now. True. With a crew of 12 people? I mean, 12, right 12 to 15. 12 to 15, yeah. Right now, I mean, like, our fulfillment has three, three people. Our production has four. Mm -hmm. Um got a few people that bounce around and do a little bit of everything yep but we're a very very small team and we do do our best yeah we do <laughs> what we can we have great partners that we're that we're thankful for that help us uh get things out to the rest of the world yeah. <laughs> yards tony said the best solution is to go to Phoenix and get your supplies in person. Jason gives out free hugs with every purchase. Does he? Uh, I mean, I don't think he would say I'm not hugging you if someone wanted a hug. I don't think I've ever gotten <laughs> a hug for that, purchasing uh, things. I don't know that, that people would walk in and be like, that's the guy I want to hug. <laughs> Why? Jason's wonderful. He is. <laughs> I mean, it's an easy... Well, I guess it depends on where you live in Texas. No, Jason and I talk all the time about how we're um, like the opposite of what you'd expect. Because he's heavily tattooed. Yep. And, you know, he's not like... He's tattooed and, and he's he's like a <coughs> he used to build motorcycles and yeah. I mean he's definitely that guy. Yeah. He's the you know, sometimes sometimes people would look at Jason and maybe like, I'm gonna walk on the other side of the street. Nah. nah. 
Jason's but then they look at me and like, guy. oh, she looks like a nice lady. No. No? <laughs> Jen, you are very nice. Don't let them tell you otherwise. <laughs> Loverjack Tim said I'd hug him for an uncomfortable amount of time. Make it, make it awkward. Next time I'm in the area, I'm dropping by just to say, that's the guy I want to hug. I like it. If you guys saw our post from this weekend, Gabe did some behind the scenes pictures. And the last one in the carousel is Jason. Uh-huh, I saw that. That's what this is all stemming from. <clears throat> <laughs> that was a funny photo of him. I laughed. Oh, well, okay. Good to know that there are conditions, Bakamaru. What are the conditions? Said my opinion of Jen is contingent on getting my brushes this week. Oh, well, <laughs> shucks. Jen's got to work on getting those brushes out. Or alternatively, could just not care. I mean, hey, you know what? That's one less person I got to worry about. Yeah, one less order. <laughs> what the heck? Sounds like less work. <laughs> Nah, the brushes will just come out. Uh, the pink is awesome. It is awesome. It is uh, a, a demo. It's not available yet. It's a top secret. No, it's not top secret because we've been showing them off. No, yeah, well, um, certainly not top but secret. But it's an upcoming color. We will be releasing six fluorescent colors. One of them will be pink. It is the pink that you see right now. Yep. Correcto mundo. Oh, and it's 504. Did oh my goodness. That? I did not. Look at that. Look at the time. Look at the time. Look at the time, everybody. That's go time. Or reverse go time. <laughs> stop time? Stop time. That's stop time. <coughs> it doesn't roll off the tongue quite as well. No. Well, everyone. Uh, that's gonna be it for us because oh, I'm tired and I want to go home and cook some dinner. Apparently, I have to stop and get cheesesteak. That's true. Jen needs to get cheesesteak. Which means I get Chipotle. Which means I get Chipotle. That sounds good. That seems like a good trade. They're right next door, and cheesesteaks are good, but I prefer. Uh, well, thank you all for hanging out. Uh, we're gonna throw some links here into the chat. Uh, I'm working on it. Jen gets. I'm second. working on it. Jen's, Jen's multitasking very well. I don't multitask well at You're all. doing fine. Uh, we got the store link up there. Um, for those of you who are new here and who are not familiar, we are Monument Hobbies. We make Procryl. All the paints that we've been using on stream today um, and the things we've been showing off a little bit uh, are available or will be available on the Monument Hobbies store, which we've linked in the chat. The other place you want to hang out is our Discord, which is full of wonderful people like yourselves uh, who all hang out and chat and talk painting and have a good time generally. Uh, it's a great place to learn. It's a great place to talk to other people about cool stuff. And it's a great place to find out when we get brush restocks. So do that. We will let Discord know before we put them on the website. We'll Correct. give you a heads up. Say hey. Get your clicking finger ready. Uh, it turns out we like you guys. Because they're going to oh. be coming soon. Uh, and then we have our FLGS link, which is where you can find local stores that have our product in the store. So you don't have to order it from us online, which, as we have discussed for the last five or ten minutes, can be a pain in the butt, depending on where you live. So we have worked with many stores around the globe. Get these in store. So you guys can run down to the corner store for your local game store and pick them up. And if your store doesn't carry <clears throat> our products, you've got a great local store that you love and they don't, you can't find Pro Curl, mm -hmm. tell them to give us a call. Yep. Or email. Yes. Support <laughs> at monumenthobbies.com. <laughs> don't eat the paint. Bakamaru. Don't eat the paint. Don't anybody listen to that Bakamaro. Yeah, that Bakamaro guy it. talking about eating the paint. Don't listen to him. No. Don't, listen to him. don't eat the paint. Uh, we're going to find somebody to raid you guys. We're Thank you again. Kenny. We're going to raid Kenny? Because it's Tuesday. Because it's Tuesday. We're all right. So be, Say hi to Kenny, ready. everybody. You guys are awesome. We'll see y'all later. Good night. Bye. Jason might be back tomorrow. We'll see. Might be back tomorrow. We'll see. <laughs>